Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games, and also some 8 bit ones tonight, because we'll be playing through the nominees for the third annual Atari Homebrew Awards, yes. the 7800 categories, and the 8 bit slash 5200 category as well. I'm very well. excited. That, just, yes. that sounds really cool. Yes, so we're going to be playing some games we have never played before. I recognize a system over there that hasn't come out yet. So Yeah, the Pastelli uh, button system. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, that, that is the <laughs> so Atari pretty. XEGS. Yeah. Atari XE game system. We'll be playing some games on that. Very and cool. thank you, Muddy Funster and Dan AVC Yay. for where he's subscribing to Prime. And also Nathan Strum before the show also yeah. resubscribed to Prime. That's awesome. And your name's going up on the screen yeah. right now. Yeah, yay. Um... So we'll be playing through 7800 works in progress games, mm -hmm. 7800 completed games mm -hmm. in 2020, and 8 bit slash 5200 games. Mm -hmm. So we have six times three games tonight, 18 games. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. But we'll be going through them fast and furious. So we'll go be going boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. um, I think I have one more week. Wow. Yeah. Keep watching it. <laughs> um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, including those people uh, who just resubscribed. Alan the Fur, Armscar Encoder, Cafe Man 2D, Catalogs, Coconut 81, Dinoi Drexel, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Ogier Rapper, uh, Johnny WC, Juan Urato, mm. Carl G, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Miss Command, M. Caseman, Mr. Fix, Pack Rat VG, Cool Hog, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, S Scum Software, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, S. Ramirez, D Train, Welshman, Thrust, Tiki, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD. Oh. Lots. Uh, and you can support the show too if you sub click subscribe and link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime. And it costs nothing. Um, or you can pay money too if you like. <laughs> um, also make sure you follow on us on all the Instagrams and the Twitters and the YouTubes. Things like that. And all the things. Facebooks. Yeah. Yep. So let's get into it because we got lots and lots of things to play. Uh, we've got mail. Mail. Tonight. And it's a box. <laughs> and I know what it is, and I know who it's from. That's exciting. But I'll reveal that when it opens up. Um, um, is that enough to open it? Oh, I think it might be. Careful. Don't stab yourself in the leg. Ah. <laughs> Don't need to be shutting the show down and no. running you to emergency. Nope. No. Nope. Have to live money. stream from the cell phone. <laughs> Everybody can keep tabs on how my leg stab wound is doing. Yeah. Ah, there we go. That's better. Come back. Come back. Why did you run away? Now, um. <laughs> he doesn't trust you with the scissors either. <laughs> no. Smart. Yeah. It's bubble wrap. Yeah. No, it's not bubble wrap. It's more than bubble wrap. <gasps> Oh, it's stickers too. Or business card. It's from Bite the Chili Productions. Who knows what this is? Oh, uh, uh, Retro Video Games by Nathan Tolbert. BiteTheChili.com. Nice. And if you've been following along and know what Nathan Tolbert has been working on, he has been working on the Quadtari. Ooh, this ooh. is it. The first unveiling of the Quadtari. Nice. It has one, two, three, four inputs. Nice. And two outputs. So these connect Ooh. to your Atari the two? 2600, the yeah. two normal connectors. Yeah. And you plug four normal joysticks into Ooh. one of each of these. So you can play four player games. Wow. Is uh, this with the final housing? This is this it. This is it? This is the release That's really version cool. of it. Um, I'll give you guys a close-up of it. It's technically yeah, a bi sorry. I, I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I've seen it. Quadtari yeah. 1.0, Bite the Chili Productions. I'll give you guys a close-up of it right now. Mm. Uh, where is it? Website? Website? No, we want the webcam. There it is. There's an Atari in the webcam. <clears throat> Ooh. There's the Quadtari, the four inputs, the two outputs. There's the back of it. Uh, 
Oh, is that showing nice. up? It's a bit bright, but yeah. Oh, it looks go. pretty good. Very nice. Very nice. With the edges there. There's two of the inputs. Oh, too far. And then on the other side, the other two. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So I have a very special show planned coming up for the Quad Tari where mm. we can show it off because I didn't know it would be arriving today. Mm. No, two Quad Taris will not work at the same time. <laughs> they are not linkable and you can just keep adding joysticks. These are not digital. These are analog pieces of equipment. Yeah. So it's like analog signals translated to analog yeah. signals. Um, it's not like a packet of data or something. Yeah. But you can connect up two pad uh, paddles to each one of these so you could have and, eight and paddles come in two that go into one so you can have eight paddles That's going cool. into this but only the button works because yeah. <laughs> the yeah. button translates into i think left or right oh, okay depending oh i see um so it actually translates into a left or a right oh, okay which you can translate into eight people gotcha giving so inputs yes so you could have a game with with eight paddles but no button presses kind of thing uh well, in the game just itself. buttons you use the buttons on the paddle okay which translates into eight inputs oh i see yes. okay um yeah M multiplex is two on each port yes thank you mm. cafe man 2d for a uh, resubscribing all the subscriptions are coming in yeah noticed it was a little low oh yeah <laughs> the numbers were a little low <laughs> it happens yeah i'm uh, gonna need a best homebrew had uh, hardware category next year yeah. well then this would win <laughs> unless somebody can top this yeah this is amazing um so i have a very secret special um homebrew exclusive um for when that show is um uh, might i don't know when i'm gonna do the show probably soonish because people will want to see this in action mm -hmm. uh probably not before the awards maybe the first show after the awards yeah um that would be really nice i'd love to get more than just us in here yeah, to play we'll it we'll see how that works we'll yeah. see how that works because yeah. But there are games that are that use this mm. to input two joysticks on one. Okay. And then you plug the second one, not this part, but you plug the um, Atari Vox into the second port. So you oh. and I can play, and it has voices at the same time, or it has saving or high scores That's at the same time. That's really cool, actually. Yes. That's really cool. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, or you can yeah. have dual joysticks. Two for player game. yeah for the um uh, what's the name of it robotron yeah uh, 2684 the port, yeah the port of robot robotron it's not robotron no what is but it? it's the port yeah, but robotron. i can't remember the name yeah that's uh, <laughs> uh, Poe did. Yeah, yeah so you can have two players playing at once that's cool both quad both two sticks yes wow okay oh robot here he is. robot war thank you robot thank you. war yes yeah. gawa gawa yeah. that's that's nathan tolbert <laughs> um, yeah, for uh, Wizard of uh, War, also you can have two joysticks one port, Atari Vox in the other port. Mm. So there's a number of games that John Chapeau has made, like Galagon as yeah. well. We can play two players and have, have the saving of the high scores on the second that's, port. That's that's really cool. yeah because yeah. not um, John Chapeau has been making games that support the Quad Tari um, now for a while because yeah. he's known the final specs of it. So he's been able to incorporate that yes. into his game. And design. also, this is already supported in Stella. So oh. you can emulate this in Stella if you have two joysticks and an Atari Vox. Okay. I believe there is settings okay. for Stella as well. So yeah. three joysticks and Atari Vox? No, it does not work that way. Mm. Atari Vox needs its own original port mm. on the system. Atari Vox so you can't, can't put it on, on there. multiplex through this. Okay. Only joysticks or... Um, paddles okay and paddles only work in a special way yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes um so tonight we will not be using this oh my precious <laughs> beautiful yep uh 2600 we will only be using uh the 7800 as people can see oh nice. we're tiny um oh. the 7800 as you yep. can see in the uh cat cam and the atari xegs nice. And also emulation because some of the games were not are not working on either of those systems. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, uh, yes. So uh, talking about that, the Concerto Cart has yeah. a Pokey chip in it. Yep. Which I got from Best Electronics. Mm -hmm. um, I've been having trouble with some games. Okay. Uh, with the Pokey chip in particular. The Pokey chip. Yes. Okay. Um, 
all the games seem to play fine. Mm. It's just songs, certain tones in some games mm. are out of tune for some reason. So I'm going to be taking apart a 5200, which also has a Poke chip in it, and replacing it and see. see if it is the Poke chip or it's a Concerto or it's my 7800 gotcha. and just narrowing it down. Okay. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, 7800 is backwards compatible. We yeah. could play the 2600, mm. but it only has S video out. Gotcha. Not RGB. Mm. Uh, a new update, uh, Stella, was released on Sunday. Um, they've done a bu bunch of bug updates that makes the Retron 77 more stable with paddles because they were jittery a little mm. bit on the Retron 77. Gotcha. Um, and they might have been releasing another update very soon. Because some people said it's not it's not quite there with the paddles. Um, but 6.5.1. There's a lot of talk in the chat <clears throat> about you taking a pokey chip out of a 5200. and. <laughs> Sorry, I've hit my limit with best electronics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm only allowed to order one. Oh. <laughs> um, I've got three 5200s. Oh, that's so, And wow. one of them's fairly beat up. So you're gonna you're gonna go for that one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna put the other pokey in the other 5200. It's not gonna be without a 50 without a pokey chip. You so just want to okay. sw swap it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, also, Plus Cart had an update on Monday yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, it hit the 1.0.0 mark, so full release. Nice. Um, they updated a whole bunch of stuff: new menu structure, keyboard improvement, PAL color fixes, line spacing, system info page in the setup. UA bank switching and a bunch of bug fixes and code tweaks. So if you've got a uh, plus cart, you can pop it in and download the new update right from the internet. Mm -hmm. The 2600 is on the internet. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about not wearing this 2600 oh, shirt. Oh, but it's such a nice shirt. But I guess it uh, should represent. Yeah. You know, have some <laughs> 2600 representation. 20, yeah, yeah, it's a nice shirt. I like uh, it a lot. I'm actually. not touching my XEGS pokey. Not even. Just saying. <laughs> not. I'd, I would rather destroy a 5200 <laughs> than an XEGS. Um, they're much more expensive, mm. I believe. Yeah. Mm. 2600 is with us in spirit. That's it right. is. Uh, my dragonfly cart is on the way. It's it's packaged up. It has a tracking number. It's in the post. Nice. I don't know when it's going to get here. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'll be able to play bigger games. Because a concerto right now only goes up to a certain amount of uh, ROM mm. it can access. So games like EXO um, from Muddy Funster, mm. I cannot play on the uh, concerto. So when I get the Dragonfly, I'll be able to play EXO and be able to play all the games. Excellent. Yes. Um, <clears throat> and it also has a dual Pokey in it and a Yamaha chip as well. So lots of sounds. Um, nice. Yes. So maybe the Pokey chip will work in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's out if we tests them before he sends them out mm. with a bunch sure of games. Sure yes. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a ton of games we're going to play tonight. Uh, Danger Zone, Dragon's Cash, Go Sub, Million Molly, Pac-Man 40th Anniversary Collection uh, Edition, Plink, <clears throat> Aroach in Space 2, Cosmic Bugaloo, EXO, Night Gun in Low Res World. <clears throat> You're very, you need some water. I do. Have some water. <laughs> uh, Nike on board, 30 squares of fate, yeah. Popeye 7800, Spires of the Ancient. Um, and then for 8 bit, we'll be playing Disco Pop, Dizzy, Last Squadron, Ray Maze 2000, and Runner Bear. Mm -hmm. Lots of games. Mm -hmm. So we'll get started right away. We're going to start with the 7800 Homebrew Completed Games, um, starting with Danger Zone, mm -hmm. which does not work on my Concerto card doesn't work on anybody's concerto card mm. because the memory addresses are not synced up. Okay. But that is no problem because we will be playing it on an emulator. Mm. Um, and we're going to be playing it on the JS7800 emulator, which is a very good browser-based emulator. Um, and all you have to do is drag and drop it into there. Nice. So it makes it nice and easy. Uh, Got all the games ready. So let me switch over to that. JS7800. There you go. Take a look at that static screen for a bit. Mm. Um, Lovely. Danger Zone. And I've also altered the stream okay. so that it should be higher quality. Because before I was using two different encoders 
um, my video card, and then my CPU as two different encoders. Okay. Now I'm using just my video card. And, and that's... I cranked it all the way to max for quality. For quality? So hopefully it looks a lot better. Okay. Um, so... The chat will have to let you know if uh, yeah. they see a big difference. <laughs> was a bit loud. Look at that. Look at that. Danger zone. <laughs> Release the Kenny Loggins quotes. Yes. <laughs> had a lot of fun testing Danger Zone with my younger son. Oh, yeah, and this is a two-player game. Um, yes, it is. I will get out. Well, my other joystick. I may have to restart uh, the game. But you can go through the menus right now. So this is kind of an homage to combat on the 2600. Um, specifically the flying part of combat. And uh, it's a also a reminder tonight that if you have not voted in the Atari Homebrew Awards, make sure you vote now because there's five days left. Five days left for voting. Um, voting stops, gets cut off on January 31st at midnight, Pacific time. Well, January 31st, um, just before midnight, so you're not, not confused. Okay, I plugged in the second controller. I don't know if this will work or we might have to restart. The demo has limitations on what you can select, Muddy Fonster says. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, I was noticing that. Okay, so let's just start and see if I can play. Is is it a two-person? Yep, yep, I can play. Yeah. We'll just go in a circle. Remember, forward is speed up. Ooh. So it's a dog fight, and you can. Ooh, ooh. So close. There oh. we go. And what option did you select? It looks like we do have Long range bullets. And limited ammo. Oh, so I shouldn't be firing like crazy. Because if I run out, I have to wait for you to run out. I have to be dodging, right? I think that's the way it worked. Um, so you can customize your planes. Uh, it has a lot of customization for... I don't think the demo has all that, though. Well, the full one will. But yeah. yeah, the demo has some limited... Oh! 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 Limited customization. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm taking a drink. <laughs> you denounce it. <laughs> oh. And I did, and you still shot me. Uh, it's okay. I needed to get a leg up. <laughs> you uh -huh. usually beat me at these things. Oh, so close. Yes. So this is like um, an enhanced combat with better graphics. And it's so nice. Really looking. nice clouds. Ooh, oh, damn it. You get one shot at a time. So you have to be very precise with your shots. Can you slow down or can you only speed up? Let's see. Can you? Oh, you can speed up. Oh, you up. can slow down a bit. Damn it. Ooh. End of match. Player one is a top gun. Yay! <laughs> Cheater! <laughs> all's, all's fair in love and war. True. This is love and war. That's true. <laughs> um, Dan says, we'll be voting tomorrow, just have to go through the 2600 games. And this is kind of for me tonight as well, mm. to check out the 8-bit games, because I haven't played a lot. Of them for very uh, mm. long, so it'd be better for me for voting. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to move on to the next game, okay? Uh, which is let me get out my list. And actually. we did play an extensive amount this game oh, we in did. previous episodes as well, with all the added um, options for. Yeah. I think almost uh, playing colors and playing options and all that, most, which is really cool. Most of the games on the seven eight hundred list we have played before. Okay. There's a couple we haven't. We haven't. Okay. So Danger, Ho Danger Zone is by Lewis Hill, uh, Money Funster. Yes. Uh, next game. Uh, what is it nominated for? This is uh, just the... 7800 Homebrew Completed. Completed. Okay. So he's, all these are okay. finished games. 
they'll be either you can download them or they'll be coming out on cartridge yeah uh this one's a demo so i'm guessing he is planning on releasing it on cartridge on cartridge yeah. at some okay cool. uh next one is dragon's cash by todd fermansky uh Reva, Revon Tuli. Mm. uh code and design benedict sheffer label and manual cover art and manual layout mm. um and i believe let me check my notes i think we can play this one on the actual yes we can on the actual concerto excellent the floor is now getting covered in uh controllers Where are the cats? They were here. They were. Oh, they, they ran, ran away. away so quickly. That's pretty much one. Yeah. Okay, press the button. Go down to today's date. Uh, Dragon's Cash. Where is it? There it is. Make sure we got the volume up enough. So this is a matching game, and I think we'll play two players. So that oh, I have the cherry box plugged in. I'll plug that. Forgot that there were some two-player games tonight. <laughs> got the option set. Do it. Four gems. Okay. Uh, battle. So we're kind of match gems to gain power. Press both buttons to use power. Full power attacks hinder opponent. So the power builds mm -hmm. up. And then phew, full yep. power. Okay. Let's do it. I bl it's a match three. Match three or more. I'm on the right. Tanya's on the left. What? How do I? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. And there are um, diagonals. Mm -hmm. And then they stay until you use the power, which is interesting. Usually they go away and you have a, like a power meter in other games. So what does it do to you? What has it done to you? It just speeds up. Speeds you up? Oh, there is a power meter as well. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> it just like dropped it. Yeah. So I'm the uh, red dragon. So it's quite the build up that you have to do before you get full power. Damn it. I don't have some of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh, and now my both my bottoms two rows are blocked off now. Can't you uh get rid of that though? Mm, maybe if Can't I you? if I build down enough, but you need to pay attention more to what's coming. <laughs> I'm like I can help, yeah. Oh, gotta clear some oh, rows no. here. Same here. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> oh, that worked out, actually. Because mm. it's a balance between building up power and not killing yourself at the same time. Um, because it doesn't get rid of the blocks. Ah, uh, 
dropped right at the side. <laughs> there we go. Oh, muddy funster. If you send Offering me your address, it. I'll send you the Genesis adapter to save Tanya from the pain line. <laughs> um, I actually have some coming. Mm. Um, some adapters from the people who make... Um, I've, coming from Tail Chow. People who make the game... Uh, Ricky and Vicky. Oh, nice! They saw the show, oh. <laughs> and, and they saw you suffering. Yeah, well, towards the end, playing yeah. Ricky and Vicky, and yeah. they're like, "Hey, I'm going to send you some adapters." That was very nice. So yeah. you can play Ricky and Piggy, Ricky and Vicky without pain. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that is a fun matching game for two people. All right. Um, Do you want to show any of the other modes, or? Um, yeah. Do you want to try the battle mode mode maybe because we've got two people? Um, very quickly. Very quickly, yeah. I find these are quick games, so... Uh, I'll go to title. Uh, uh, player. Maybe different music. Go back. Oh. Just so you can show different music at the same time. Sounds good for a battle mode. That's what Match we just played. What? We just played battle mode. Oh, press both buttons to use. Okay. Uh, I can't reset. It's, it's okay. too late. Just die. Die quick. Just... Oh my god. <laughs> Fills the screen. Oh, you can't. What? <laughs> you can't Isn't die? That funny? That's really funny. Yeah. Who dies the fastest? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's try that again. Title Two player. Uh, A race. 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 100. 100? Yeah. Match three or four. Uh, more gems to score. Score counts down and ends at zero. First to zero wins. Okay. Okay. So we'll go real quick. Ooh, well, that's a nice one to begin with, I guess. Good job. That's a nice option, actually. This definitely needs a way to return to the title screen. Yeah, just a re the reset button should would, would be help. checked. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That would be good. Yeah. They can always add that in before they put it out on cart, mm. if they're going to put it out on cart. Yeah. Okay. Next game, which is Ghost Sub by Chris Reed, Atari 2600 Land, I believe. Yeah, we can play this one. Excellent. On the concerto as well. It's all good. Um, so, Go Sub by Chris Reed, uh, who's known as Atari 2600 Land. He is very, very prolific, especially in the 2600 realm. Nice. Um, and he also does games on a lot of different, go for it, other yep. systems. And we have played this the 2600 version of this, I okay. believe. Nice. So it's very self-explanatory. Get the treasure, avoid the baddies, you can shoot the baddies. Oh, he goes right for you. <laughs> uh, don't run into the baddies. Yeah. <laughs> shoot oh, the baddies. Oh, and don't hit the walls. Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness, it's very... Uh, the <laughs> it doesn't stop. No, it it, it you floats. You change it directions. Floats. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. There we go. Just time's out. Okay. No. I see. It shoots in the direction you're moving. Yeah. So it always has a constant velocity in one, <laughs> one direction or the other. Oh. 
this is gonna be hard. <laughs> You can shoot through the seaweed. Yeah, I didn't realize that, and yeah. now I... Ah! Oh! Sensitive. <laughs> hey, ah! on the fur. Ah! Welcome to the show. Ah, no! That way! <laughs> Got a cute little octopus. Yes. Nice little graphics for the submarine. And uh, good music. Not too, uh, not too in your face. No, it's very Keep sweet. Plotting. Yeah. Woof. One this, level. This one you have to get the key and then go to the chest. Shoot the chest. No. Shooting the chest doesn't help. <laughs> TIA music, catchy. Yep, very good TIA music. Find a lot of really good TIA music on the 7800 for some reason. Um, and you're able to make the same music on the 2600, but <sighs> for some reason, um, maybe it's the, uh, the community that's working on the 7800, the musicians that are drawn to it. Not that there's not good music on the 2600, but... Music is pretty cute. Yes. Oh, oh no! It's very tight. And because you float, you have to be so careful. Beware of octopi that can take out submarines. Ah, your turn. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> if there's an octopus that can take out your submarine, it must be, it's probably a one person submarine. It's very small. Like it's only got two windows. Yeah. So. Beware of the Krakens. It would be a. He's pretty cute, that octopus, though. Look at those eyeballs. <laughs> he is very He is cute. using all his little octopus muscles to, like, <laughs> Get out, propel check. himself. To the point that his eyeballs are going like this. <laughs> it's really cute. It's really, really cute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, what? Oh, you have to give him some room. You could run into the explosion of the octopus. It's always a question in games <laughs> whether some games allow you to run into explosions and some do not allow you to run into explosions. This one does allow you to run into explosions. No, well, no, well, oh, I see. And die. I mean. And die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some let you pass through. Yeah. Uh -huh. Death by octopus shrapnel. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. right. More, Slightly I guess it's more like explosive octopi in here. It's more like your um, missile. Uh, what are missiles from a submarine called? They have a different name. Torpedoes. Charges? Uh, torpedoes. Torpedoes. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're actually kind of running into your torpedoes. I suppose that's true. Your your torpedo explosion is, yeah. is the issue. Yeah. And it explodes on impact. Nice. Yeah, Miss Command likes the octopus too. I think the octopus is really... Actually... Oh, really cute. Even the, the icon of the submarine with its flickering tail... And I really like I, I really like the two tone, like the lower yes. and the upper half and the little Gives windows. A shadow it's really cute. Of, really nice. You know, yeah. Light from above, darkness below. Even the key has that same yes. look to it. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. I guess the octopus is guarding its uh, treasure. Mm. Maybe. Or it's just guarding its area that it lives in. Or you in. just look yummy. Like, <laughs> maybe. I mean, really, it's as big as you, so... Yeah, it's a good snack. Maybe maybe it thinks it's your... It's um, it's octopus mate? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Are there maybe. male and female octopuses? I'm not really sure how... Uh, how they reproduce? I'm pretty sure there I are. I don't know. The octopus always appears on the opposite really? side. Not always. Of you. It's no. If you're over 50% past the screen... Watch, it'll kill No! Damn it, and why am I Yeah, running, running into it doesn't... No, no, because that's not true, because um, I picked... I was going around a corner, it came on that edge, so... Maybe it always comes from mm. the... No! 
the first level it was showing up on the in the corner that I was in. Really? So that's not but I I wasn't facing it. I was moving away from it, so maybe Maybe it's the direction you're facing it. So you were you were going it? towards it there, so I don't know. So, I don't yeah, know. but I was before fifty percent. Fifty percent what? Of the screen. Like if uh, I'm on the right side it appears on the left. If I'm on the left uh, side it appears on the right. Because it doesn't, the game doesn't want to be unfair and just throw an octopus immediately at you. Yeah, but I was in the bottom. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't fully over, but um, I'm on the left. It'll appear on the right. Yeah, it does seem to be. Maybe, maybe um, you have to be pretty sick? close over. Uh, but the plus card. Do do do. S. Ramirez just updated my plus card. Like the new look of the menu. Played one game of Hero. Got to level. Fifteen hundred four thousand. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Good score. Four hundred and sixty-five. Um, of course, S. Ramirez got that. <laughs> Master of all games. Alma Farad never reached a hundred thousand on here. No. I think the patch is seventy-five, which I have not got yet. Mm. It's, it's there's a bit of memorization to it. Which I'm not great at with games, which is, and it's also hard. But there's like lots of paths you have to go down in Hero. No. Yeah. Oh, you I me. find you want distance between because because sometimes it takes time for that torpedo to get released. Yeah, I'll have to update mm. my plus cart as soon as I have some time. Mm -hmm. Do not have any time right now. <laughs> Arranging the Atari Awards. Yeah. All you peoples out there. Only good enough for 14th place. Wow. Whoa. That's, wow. Uh, the, the scores must be pretty high. Is it all <laughs> on S. the Ramirez? high score club? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh, it's on the high score club. Ooh. Oh, no wonder. I thought it was on the plus card. Does the game screen look darker to anyone else? It is a bit dark mm. blue, but. Uh, it's okay. Should it? Is it supposed to be brighter? No. Oh. Get him! No! Ah. No! So close! Uh, oh! That's okay. We're done. I have too many <laughs> lives. I've earned too many lives. Darker than earlier mm. with this game. Well, it changes. Yeah, no, it looks pretty good. And died. There's a shark there too. Oh! Oh my God! Maybe there's a shark later on. Okay. Next game we're going to investigate and take a look at is ah, Million Molly um, by Matt Smith, M.K. Smith. And this one we're going to play in the emulator. Okay. Because it does not perform well on my concerto cart. Oh, no. Sadly. Uh, oh, watch out. Okay. Hey, Ricardo Pim. Millie and Molly. Oh, I can't see the screen. Switch over to the TV. Oh. Let's start that over again. There you go. You're not. Oh, flip it over. Not. One more time. Everybody likes that song, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's jump in, and I don't know if you can go to a different level. Can you switch to a different level? No, you have to start at one, unless you have a passcode. Level passcode. That's okay. Now, we have played this game on the show, so we're, we're just going to run through it. So, you uh, have to get your teddy bears. <laughs> and you can rewind, and you get codes to go through things. There's ladders, and then there's enemies that you push. Can't remember. All these are like telling you what to do. These are like instructional levels. Um, Millie and Molly uh, nominated for Atari 2600 Homebrew. Completed best Atari 26 Atari 7800 Homebrew. It's by Matt Smith, uh, M.K. Smith for code, Mike Sarna, Revenge for code, and Bobby Clark for music. Yeah, my concerto, it just goes blank. Like, oh, the, like really? the intro's fine. Yeah. As soon as you start a level, it just goes blank. So it's very, very weird. 
but the concerto is still in beta, still being worked out. Um, oh yeah. Uh, just get that bear and you have, you have to do two passes. You have to go two passes, yeah. Just as long as you don't fall in that pit. Yeah, because then you are stuck. Yes. I was playing this the other night on the Dragonfly. It gets to be pretty out of the box thinking I would complete some of them. Very cool, yeah. yeah we got up pretty high. Fun. And then it gets challenging. Yeah. Because you have to push rocks, right? Yep, you go boop. And then you walk over that one. Boop. And then teddy bear! Teddy bear! It is a great puzzle. It is. I want to play more of it, actually. <laughs> I do. We'll get to I, it. I know I can't. We don't have a lot of time, but I yeah. definitely do. Because we got to a certain level, and we have the code for that level. Yes. So we can continue on. Yeah. And then you switch characters, too. Yes, and you switch back and forth, yeah. So you have to get one person in a certain spot, then switch to the other person. Yeah. Um, I'll just play a few levels, because yeah. we don't have time to go through a whole heck of a lot. No. Um, you can go down, get that teddy bear, yeah. push the rock, go back up, push the rock on top of that, go over, get the teddy bear. Yeah. Teddy bear. So now it's starting to make you think a bit. It's yeah. not like super hundred percent straightforward. Nope, and that's what makes it fun. Yeah. And then you screw up, and you get, and you end up in a dead end, and then you have to. Yep, Millie Molly Pit Cat, very yes. similar style. I love games. those games. Yeah. I love them a lot. Implemented a tiny bit differently, but... Mm -hmm. Reminds me of an old NES game called Banana, but without the digging. It has lots and lots of these types of games. I think they all started with, like, Soko, Sokoban-type games with um, box pushing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yep. then you go up, and you can get over to the other ladder. And get the top teddy bear. Yeah, I think I can just go like this. Do, 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 like do, the screen do, do. wipe too. Yeah, it's all the little additions. Like she flies off the screen. Yeah. Oh no, this isn't. Pit cats fly off the screen. This yeah. one she disappears. She flies in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll uh, let you play this one while I get rid the next one ready. Um. So the next one is Pac-Man Collection, 40th anniversary, mm -hmm. and uh, we can play that one on the concerto, actually. Mm -hmm. You have to get both of those rocks. Ooh, yeah, you leave those last, because you're going to be stuck. Mm -hmm. Go up, go up, go up, there you go. And then... Push the two rocks. I think you push them down. And, and then, then you get you, one, yeah. two teddy bears. Well, you right. could have pushed the other one. So easy to update the plus card, yeah. If it's on the internet and working, then you just update it. But that's always like somewhat dangerous because uh, if they do, if they release an update and it bricks some of them, <laughs> then it's mm -hmm. like, ah, how do you update it? Does it have an input at all? Like, it has no inputs. Like, it's just on its own. Like, it doesn't have a USB input. I don't think the plus card. No. So if you brick it, it's over for you. Okay, you're done. Hey! No, one more! One more! Let me get to the end! <laughs> okay. Actually, let's... I can get the other thing ready. So I can see it on my screen. Or can I? Maybe not. Okay, you're done. Okay. Awesome game. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. And I'll switch it over so we can see it. So this is uh, loaded up. Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition by Bob DeCrescenzo. Um, who's known as Pac-Man Plus, did code on this, and Perry Thwente, TEP392 on sound, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, woot. Uh, A78. Ooh, hope this is the right one. Should be, because I tested it. Mm. Oh yeah, this is the right one. That's the right one? 
Yeah, this one is actually the forced TIA sound version, so it will work on my concerto. Mm. Uh, so hey, hey, this hey. is a collection of Pac-Man games. Gotcha. So press the button. So you can play one or two. Might as well play Ooh. two players. Um, and we can play, go down to the games and scroll through them. Miss pa oh, Miss Pac-Man Plus. Miss Pac-Man Plus Arcade. Miss Pack Attack. Miss Random Maze. Uh, Pac-Man. New Puck X. Hangly Man. Wow. Ultra Pac-Man. Wow. Pack Random Maze. Pac-Man Plus, New Puck X Plus, Hangly Man Plus, Ultra Pack Plus, Random Plus. That's Let's it. do Random Plus. Two All players. Right. Cola, Cocktail, Peapod, Apple. That started the lowest. Galaxian, <laughs> Pancake. Ooh. And we'll normal. do Normal. Okay. It's fast speed is crazy. I... So okay. this is just random. Everybody knows Pac-Man. Eat the dots. Watch out for ghosts. Eat the big dots. Oh my gosh, they're fast. <laughs> and get the and get the ghost. Pet cat runs excellent on the seventy eight hundred using the plus code. Oh, interesting. Oh, oh my god, what is happening? I only get power pellets. Does that mean I only have to eat the power pellets? <gasps> he's red. Why is he red? Because he's bad and he's evading being a power pellet. Ghost. Did you just get power pellets? <laughs> it's it's so random. So each turn is random. That's that's funny. crazy. Oh, you have you're stuck on your board. Oh, what? I'm not moving. Oh, it's me because yeah, because I didn't die. <laughs> oh, fast. Ah, 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 ah! He didn't turn. Why didn't he turn? Oh, he's catching oh! up. <laughs> oh my god. That is so. It's like a super fast level. Yeah. Oh, cocktail. cocktail. I'm scared. They're so fast. I'm sticking near the power pellets. Oh my god. Oh, he's catching up. Ah, ah, and one of them. One of them. Oh, oh my didn't goodness. Turn. That's crazy. This is getting intense really quick. Yes. Wow. The one distributed for voting is the XM version. No sound. Yeah. I should drop this one in the, uh, ah! the voting. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, you made it. Kind of. Get him. Get all three. Get him. Oh, oh. That's okay. If someone hadn't told you, you'd never believe this is TIA sound. That is for sure. It's so good. Ah. Cornered. Oh, they're fast. Cornered. Oh, they are. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, all my power pellets. Mm -hmm. Be very careful. Oh, my gosh, they're so fast. Let's you go. cannot. Ah, missed, it. missed the turn. <laughs> Sounds very close to the arcade. It does. Like, I. If I didn't have. If I wasn't able to compare them. Oh, they disappeared. Wow. Oh, now they're back. Oh, I don't move very well. Well, at least you know that's a power pellet. You get it? You get your Where? cocktail or your coke. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure what happened there. Oh my goodness. Well, He's mean. Woo, no, the other job. ones weren't coming out, so that was good. Yeah. Perfect music. Get him. Wow. Get him. They're like little apples with... Yeah, I see you right there. Oh, turned around. Ah! Oh, no. Get this. Oh, there's no time. Oh, my God. And that guy stay pink. Oh, oh my what? God. <laughs> I don't like this. Pac-Man crazy. Oh. Pac-Man crazy. Like a bag of chips. Sideways. Does look like a bag peapod. of chips. Oh, peapod. I think it's a peapod. So, as you can see, this is an incredible collection of Pac-Man games. If you like Pac-Man, this is 
This is pretty much the one to get. It's Miss ah, Pac-Man and Pac-Man. Go faster! A million variations. <laughs> Your turn. And this is where I die. Cause... This is where I die. <laughs> oh, oh, what? I pressed. I pressed. I'm probably too late to turn because everything's moving very fast. Stuff like this also happens in Arcade Pac-Man Plus. There can even be weird things when getting the bonus food. See, the sound is so good on the TIA, you don't even know you aren't playing on Pokey or something else. You, you don't. Like, oh my god. Like, I would never, ever, ever think this is a TIA sound. Oh. There's some masters of TIA out there. Last guy. I mean, it didn't do Miss Pac-Man. It was all Pac-Man. What is happening? <laughs> no, I think it's... You're playing a game. It's just random. It's one of the random oh, okay. plus games. Do do a Miss Pac-Man. Just, just so we can see it. Uh, yeah, I like Miss Pac-Man. Oh! Ah! Miss Pac-Man random maze. No, 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 no. Just... Just normal? Just Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, you get the different music, too. Different uh, sound eating the pellets. Pell pellets. Little or the pellets. Thank you so much, Esther Mayors 2008, for resubscribing. 20 months. Wow. Currently on a 10 month streak. Amazing collection of Pac Man games. They're all here. Are they? Like, I am far from. Oh, oh my god. Aficionado of Pac Man, that's for sure. Obviously, Pac Man ah, Plus ah, ah. loves Pac Man. No, a fan. This controller. <laughs> After the show, I will be ordering an Ed Aladdin controller. Yes. And he just came out today with two new colors of uh, the, the balls. Oh, on really? The top of the six. Do you get to pick them? Yes. Excellent. One of them Which is what color is mine? smoky gray. Oh. And I'm definitely going to make one of them smoky gray. Okay. Um, I can't remember what the other color was. They're both pretty good. Oh, purple. Seafood purple. Good job. Smoky, smoky purple. Um, because I don't think we'll be getting across the border in the next eight months. Sadly. And I'm not going to go eight months without a joystick for the 7800 and 2600 dual joystick controllers. So. Even these are acting up. I feel like they're acting up. These, these joysticks? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, like fine, I don't find them. But they're not comfortable anymore. Anyway. No, they're not comfortable. Okay, press the left one. It wasn't responding. Yeah, okay. I, I get stuck a lot. We're good for that one. All right. Um, check it out yourself. Very cool Pac Man game. <clears throat> and we're going to move on to a Plink by bhb smith aka smitty b and this one is a uh paddle game for the 7800 Ooh, do i need and to we have not played this before load into it first or i would do that and we'll try that sorry first. which one was it again it was plink. plink smitty b get yourself an ed Ladin supreme 78 all play 4 8. uh i'm getting a duel and that would be nice to have four way eight way but we do play two-player games a lot. Yeah. Uh, and also dual control sticks for, like, Robotron. Oh. Damn it. Missed that. Um, oh, did you? Start it again. Oh, no. I didn't have it on it. Because it has a, a, kind of a cool little intro. Sorry, I didn't realize you had switched away from it. Yep. Because it's, it's like you're turning on fluorescent lights. Yeah. Bing. And it's got special sound effects. Nice. Okay. Load Have, it up. You, oh, I need to load it up first, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very cool. Are they all there? Baby Junior Professor Pac-Man? No. No, those aren't in there. He did do Baby Pac-Man. That is a separate, uh, mm. separate game. Oh, it's 
like Pungy. Cool. Very Pungy. Will it go off the screen or no? Uh, it's more like wall ball. No, it doesn't. Uh, so those things oh, don't you attack can, you. You can miss. No, they don't attack you. They kind of get in your way, but are also worth points. Oh, so you want to hit you, them? But if your ball hits behind you, you lose a, oh. a guy. So it's more life. that you don't want it to... Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Gotcha. So I think there's two players. So that's the first player. Okay. Uh, can you press the button? Oh. Two player. Oh, okay. That's two player. Press the button. Oh, there we go. So I am green. Oh, it changes color. So you have to get it if it's green? Yes. And then it has a neutral color. So anybody can get that. Oh, it puts a person out in front that needs to get it. I don't know. Ooh, ah. Oh my god, it's getting crazy. Oh, somebody lost it. Guy's lost two balls now. Yeah, okay. When it's the color, you have to get it. Yeah. Okay, press button. Button. Oh, wait. There you go. Two player. Two. Ooh, Ooh HS. Let me try that out. Do one more two player. So when it's your color, you have to get so it. It is so confusing. <laughs> it is so confusing because I can't tell where I am if I'm you or on me. Because well, we switch um, front. Who's up front? Oh, no, but I, I'm, I'm constantly moving the wrong direction. Oh. I'm not very good at these games from the side. <laughs> <laughs> it Better is when different. it's at the bottom. For me, at least. Ugh. Terrible. At one point, uh, the game, you could have the game where it would just go horizontal and it would never change directions. Um, but he put a element of randomness so that it doesn't go straight back and forth. So you're almost always matching each other because you're always tracing the ball. Yeah, because you don't really know when it's going to flip around. It's an interesting take on the game because a lot of... Yeah. I can't think of another game where it's moving. They're always usually oh. static screens, right? And usually vertical, not horizontal. So he's done two changes there. Oh. Buffering! Whew. You're buffering? Me? <laughs> I don't know. Somebody says buffering. <laughs> the person who doesn't control the ball is in front, so they can easily more take control. Oh, so it switches if you get it first. Is that the idea? That makes oh. sense. Oh, so you take control. But uh, if no one gets it, it becomes neutral. Oh, it does have some Atari Vox uh, speech? Well, I'll plug it in, because there's uh, it's bad paddles, so that's a good way to have Atari Vox. Mm. Two players. Okay. Let's see what HS. Oh. <laughs> high score. Go to HS. That probably just goes to high score, right? Oh. You can go to HS. Oh, I thought that was just high score. I don't know. I thought that's what you <laughs> just said. Oh, it's probably just high score. It's probably, but we don't know. I want to hear the Atari this. box, though. So if I don't get it here, you can keep getting it. Oh, I see. So you switch possession. So I, it's like it's, who has possession of it. That's right. If if it's green and I miss, you're and able to and that's, get it. And that's how you get points is because uh, you're in possession of it. So you're getting the points off of it. So if the other player just keeps on missing it, you can keep control. Yep. That's very clever. 
Very clever. So it keeps it relatively even, actually, because you always end yes. up in front. Yeah. But if we both miss it, if it's our color and we miss it, we lose a life. Which I know. I do you? I don't know who loses the life. I don't think you life. lose a life. I think you probably get because it goes neutral if you both miss it. H or H S is just the high score. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Press button. High score. High score. <laughs> is that the only voice? It's the only voice I've heard. Oh, it changes pitch. High scores. Do it again. High scores. Cool. One, one more? No. No. Okay. Gotta move on. <laughs> Lots of games today. So that is the uh, very, last, very fun. last of the 7800 homebrew completed nominees. The person who's controlling the ball loses the extra ball when they miss. It's controlling the ball. Gotcha. So if, if both miss. Gotcha. Uh, okay. So we, each has an extra ball, I guess? So the next game, uh, we're going to be moving into the works in progress games. Okay. Stop the music. So you guys can hear me. Um, the first one is A Roach in Space 2 Cosmic Bugaloo, which we're playing on the concerto. Nice. Most games we can. There you go. And this game is by Vladimir Zuniga, VHZC. Now keep in mind, everybody, because people were commenting last time we were playing the works in progress yeah. for 2600. These are the games that were made in 2020. Yes. There have been updates since then, mm -hmm. but those don't count because these are when they were made in 2020. Yeah. So the best version of it in 2020. The last version. The last version. The best. <laughs> well, no, the best, like the the last the one. The latest one. Yes. Yes. The yeah. latest one in 2020. Yeah. So if they've made additions since then, we can't keep on. Yeah. And it, used, adding it and says adding beta 0. 0.4. That would be the version, right? Yeah. For the, yeah. Okay. And if they make a finished version, it'll be 2021. Possibly nominated for 2021. Yes. Okay. If people like it. Um, so we have played this on the show. It is a lot of fun. Nope. Oh. Right off the bat. <laughs> you got hit by the first boulder that came at you. It's like playing Super Mario Brothers and the Goomba kills you immediately. I know. <laughs> it's good that you're playing because I have, like, patterns for this. Yeah. <laughs> that make it look really tedious, like, really boring. Then... Get it. Get it. Oh, it's your power up. Is it? Oh, you didn't say that? I thought I was just avoiding it. No. It gives you, like, an extra shield. Oh. You can move forward. Oh, forward I always forget that. To dodge? Cause, yeah, because most games you don't, you can't do that. They're usually fixed, fixed shooter along the bottom. I love these crazy tomatoes. <laughs> Attack of the killer tomatoes. Ah! ah. So you do have your Dying. life meter on the bottom Dying. left. And his face changes. He doesn't look so happy right now. No, he doesn't. Poor cockroach. Poor cucaracha. Ah, you got me. Oh, already, already. The tenseness. Oh, you can continue. You play your full game. Press button. As Vlad explained the propulsion system the roach is using, because it looks like he's just really gassy. Yeah, It does, because I don't see... Um, anything mechanical on him so he is using his uh internal uh propulsion this, this system murders my hand oh you used your bomb oh no i didn't mean to do that cleared the screen it's the other button yep Good to the know. second button is the bomb oh this Ugh. one's this one's rough i do not like this controller for this. <laughs> it's because you it's so intense that, yeah you start that, gripping oh you start gripping it and that already my wrist is killing me Internal combustion, yes. It's an oh. internal combustion system. I've already switched hands. <laughs> I do that within a couple minutes. Oh. I switch hands. The pain line. Yeah, the pain line has started. 
<laughs> Kids these days don't know the pain. <laughs> yep, they've got all their ergonomics I know. and stuff. Silly. We had to deal with just terrible, terrible controllers that destroyed our hands. Yeah. Made us who we are today. That's right. <laughs> so you have to shoot these guys twice in the sunglasses. Grip Just, strength. That's right. Get them those grip machines. Ugh. And uh, yeah, we're pretty good at those. <laughs> hey, that was the only controller I knew back in the day. Well, that's all we had. That's true. Were there any third party 7800 controllers released? Uh, during its original run, I don't, I don't remember seeing anything. Like there's no extra controllers that you ever see on eBay or I've ever seen listed. It's like that or nothing, and not until like now, where we have all these adapters and uh, people like Ed Ladin making things. Crossbow says I, I don't think so. I don't think so either. There is a channel on YouTube. Everybody probably knows it. That, um, that all he talks about is controllers and retro systems like 7800 Vectrex 2600. Um, he would be the guy that uh, would know. Oh, those guys are awesome. We did have the Epix uh, 500 XJ. Yeah. Well, that for the that's for the 2600, right? That's not for the. So they're they're not interchangeable. You can't use. No, that one didn't have a two button need, for seven eight hundred. Mm. Yeah, that's a one button only. Yeah. Oh yeah, there is the Euro controller, which I got the other day. Which we, I mean, we could try and use that. Is this the bad guy? At yeah, the this end? is the boss, the first boss. How, how many times do I have to hit him? Uh, about twenty. Oh really? Yeah. Probably pretty close. Oh. Got him. Just in time. Ah. Oh. Oh, oh, the hand. Oh. Oh. <laughs> never knew about the Euro controllers until the late 90s when I got back into retro gaming. Yeah, I never uh, had seen those. Oh. This is this murderous. <laughs> Switch hands again. <laughs> Pain mine. <laughs> okay. My that was turn. good. Okay, you play. I'm gonna be right back. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how far I can get. Should I start other-handed? Yeah, probably. Okay. I have a pattern for almost every level. So this might look a little boring. It's just like the fastest way to get through the levels to get to the bosses. Some, there is no pattern. You just have to kind of get them all. Like the tomato one, there's no pattern. Just have to shoot all the tomatoes. Since, since they don't shoot at you, it's a little bit easier. This one either. The ones where they drop straight down, then there's an easy pattern. There's a couple other ones where I have a spot that I can sit in. Like this one. I usually sit right here. Because you just have to move up and down because it gives enough leeway that you can see when they're coming. And, uh, you know, they don't usually hit right there. And you can move a bit before they get there. And it also gives you enough chance to um, get out of the way and hit guys. So this is another... That was... Ugh. Apparently my pattern's not working. I have to be in a very specific spot for this one that covers both the first and second fireball. Got hit. It's terrible. Now I've lost my power-up. Which is annoying. That's okay. This is high enough that you can avoid the shot from the right hand side, but also kill the guy on the left hand side. Oh, those, yeah, that, <laughs> that level is actually really easy. Uh, this one. 
these guys. It's are... very much like the ball dropping dudes. Just yeah. Reskin. They're the same. Yeah, I find those those challenging because you're avoiding That's your right. shot. Yeah. Uh, it's best to just think about the shot you're avoiding. Yeah. Atari is there. And he's looking at cables. He's not. Don't don't you Please worry about Atari. Carefully. I am keeping an eye on him. Oh, this is my power up. Hi, buddy. Come here. Watch this. Here's... Oh, you! Wow! You go right up to him, <laughs> and it and your shot refreshes oh, as soon as you hit. Oh, so it's really so quick. It's, you can kill him in about a second. This Even, is not easy. This no. level is very hard. Yeah, I haven't found a good dodgy, dodgy. a good way to Just keep out of the way. Yeah. Hi, come here. I know there's a lot of controllers on the ground, buddy. <laughs> I know. Because we have, have two to systems dodge going them. today. You have to dodge the controllers. That's right. It's a game. Come here. That, that would make a good uh, 2600 game if you're trying to develop one. It's just a cat dodging controllers on the ground. You have all the different controller icons. <laughs> That's right. Uh, this one, concentrate on the red guy. Yeah. Because he has a wide path that he goes, and it's hard to avoid him when he gets low because he kind of sweeps the whole screen. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh. Listen, listen to him. All these <laughs> Top tactics. Ticks. Not that I'm playing super great. But it's because of the controller. Usually, I play it on the um, on my computer with the arrow keys. Mm -hmm. I don't even use a controller most of the time. I don't get him chewing the the He's not chewing imported the Japanese special system. Japanese thing. Oh my god! One more game. This one. Let's go like this. Go up to it and then back off it. Up to it, back off it. Mm. Eventually you'll hit, hit enough. I think these are all timed anyway. Are those the drill platforms from Mega Man 2? He was very inspired by Mega Man, wasn't he? Yeah. He does like There's Mega a lot Man. of Mega Man inspired P things to his things. games. Yeah. yeah. So I think the there's a bit of uh, a bit of that mm -hmm. in those drill things that come down. Mm -hmm. This one is not an easy one either. Those are some seriously evil looking bullet bills. Yeah. Damn it. They look uh, very vengeful. Hopefully I can get to the second boss. Why are you sitting second on the floor? Second boss is pretty cool. Why are you sitting on the floor? But these guys are not easy. It's the random when they start attacking you and come down at you. So you're kind of dodging two different... And they take two shots? Oh, well, this one's just as hard. Down. This level's just as hard. This one? Oh, they're because of Damn the movement, it. eh? Yeah. Because they sweep the screen. So it's more like a maze. A moving maze. Yeah. I mean, they're moving in predictable ways, but it's still hard. Yeah. So it's best to clear... Continue. Clear out as much as you can there. I don't know if it starts the level over. Yep. Oh. You have to shoot him while, and his avoid. Hand, while his hand is out. And avoid the ball. Do you have to hit him in any particular place or just uh, Just anywhere? his face. But this is, uh, I think, an earlier one where it doesn't show reaction of, of him. Yeah. Um, but in the newer one, versions, um, it shows him like lighting up. Mm, but you do have to hit, hit him. Shots or something. This guy a little bit easier than the first boss in terms of being able to dodge. Yay. There you go. Whoa. And now it gets really painful. Yeah. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Yeah. Can you shoot them? Oh, you can. Oh my goodness. So I'm just going to go sweeping from left to right as he passes by. Just a little bit. Easy, easy to figure out where to hit because that was the only way you were scoring any points was on his Oh, spot. yeah, I didn't even look yeah. at the points. Oh, damn it. These guys. Squiddy guys. Squid faces. <laughs> They're not too bad because they don't come low, so they don't interfere with you, so it's really just shot avoidance. Mm -hmm. This level it's not too bad. These dudes go. Oh, God. <gasps> and this is death. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made it past this level. 
Oh, that oh, was very short. Okay. Maybe I was just on my last leg when I ever Whenever I encountered that. Oh, God. Oh, bouncy. He loves Pong. Yeah, no kidding. He always includes a Pong level in most of his games. <laughs> I think I have to hit the ball because I can't hit those guys. No, they're probably... It's a good tactic when it comes down. Get a bunch of shots on it. Ah, oh, damn it. Got it. Maybe you're further than you were. Ah! Oh, God. Now it's a bunch of different dudes at once. Oh, my God. There's guys that drop balls, and there's guys that are... Just little spikies. Spikies up for the full screen. Oh, I need to finish this level as soon as possible. Oh, God. Ah. Oh, God. <laughs> Everything just feels like chaos. Oh. oh. That's the furthest that I've ever good. been in that game. Good wow. job, Atari says. <sighs> Easy to figure out, Eddie. Okay, next game. Uh, EXO by Lewis Hill, Muddy Funster. And we will be playing the emulated version because I know the concerto cannot load games that big. It's a big, big game. Big game. EXO. Welcome to the December 2020 demo of e Elite Xeno Operations. Nice. Please remember that this is a work in progress alpha code and there may be bugs and glitches. Feedback and suggestions are appreciated. Alpha 12, December 2020, Dirt Engine 2.0. You got a cat, so I'll be playing? Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. I do uh, have a cat. He's being very sweet right now. EXO is super cool. Mm -hmm. It's an underground maze spaceship mm. shooter. Let's get that off the screen there. Happy or mad at me? It's got hmm? great graphics. Oh, look at that. Uh, left, right, fire to start. So we will play... We're going to play level two, because I've never played level two. Okay. I've played level one. Artem space launching. It's like, look at the graphics there. Can't try the light switch. Muddy hmm. Punster. James, no one figured the Easter egg on the main screen hint try oh. the light switch. Oh, well, we'll have to go back to that. Yeah. If I can remember. Try the light switch. Is that too loud? It's actually too quiet. Turn it up just a little bit. <laughs> That's probably good. Oh my god. Touch it. Got it. There's a platform there. Hi, are you here to disrupt my game? Okay, that trend that does not transport me anywhere. Ooh, those look dangerous. Dangerous. So far, so good. Um, what a what a nothing. Is that through Lock. going through? No, nope. nope. blocks your path. Blocking my path. some great lava graphics this game is just huge mm -hmm. and extensive and so much graphics do you have shot uh, i don't think i can shoot these so i can either go below it which i think i'm going to do oh, oh damn can't it. touch it either what is that Just things to blow up oh, I guess. okay yeah. At least I know where to go now. Mm-hmm. It's close. Oh, I'll just go. <laughs> mm. Good timing. Uh, so I have to go... Ah, damn it! <laughs> it does take you back to the beginning, which is... Oh. Oh, boy. Let's time it well. I, I did. I had to go pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> Sensitive? <laughs> you never know where a switch might be hiding. Ah. Uh. Oh, there's a switch up there. Oh, there is a switch up there. If I can actually make it without uh. dying. Yeah, this is not a game of speed. Mm -mm. It's a game of... Patience. 
precision and patience. Mostly precision, I find. Yeah. <sighs> because your ship could just barely fit in there, right? Mm -hmm. Get a lot of lives. That's a good thing. Can I fit up? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. So that's good. Now, does that throw that's the switch probably, for somewhere else? That's probably the far end or something, but you'll have to uh, see. I'm going to do this first. Oh, it's rough. Ooh. Ooh. Quick. <gasps> oh, no, there's another I one. I knew you wouldn't be able to do it that fast. There's no I, reason to have two, switch if, <laughs> two switches if... Uh, so did I throw the switch? I yeah, did. I did. might as well investigate, just see in if case. It's, if there's anything. Nope. nope. <laughs> Just a dead end still. Yep. What does that say? Can you read the chat? As Ramirez just says, this game is the reason I stood in line all night for my dragon. <laughs> stood in line. Mm -hmm. Is there a line? <laughs> Missed the line. Muddy Funster says, remember that level two and three in the demo are just tasters, so I guess it's not right. a full level. Which is good to know. So you have to get down one. And then, then and then avoid that bullet. Yeah. You stay above the bullet, I guess. There you go. And get down and then and that's probably to go back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh oh. That Those looks like a are, trap. Are gonna shoot me. Yeah. It's a trap. So I can trigger them. Yeah. Which is a, not a terrible idea to do. Okay. It's not. No. What is happening? Oh! <sighs> mission failed! So there's a light switch. Here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> cute. Very cute. Cinematics. Launch. Status and help. Not everything's here. Uh. Is that a 2600 junior there? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like kind of one with the with the stripe. Well, it looks like a 7800. Actually, it does look like a 7800 as well. Load and save. Mm. It's a big game, so it's good there's a load really and nice, save. Really nice, really nice. Credits! That is a PAL 7800 with Euro controller. <laughs> nice. Confirmed? <laughs> no. From Crossbow. From Crossbow. Hey, That's look sweet. at that. Testing and feedback. Said PA. Oh, it is nice. a long name. I'll accept it. <laughs> Crossbow's name's there. Trevor nice. S. Ramirez. Nice, nice, nice. Good when you, stuff. Oh, um, I'll take a quick look at the first, yeah, first level, level as well. Ooh, fancy, fancy. So this, you have to shoot these to get to through. To get through. Them. And you can crash into them. Oh, that looks like a, it's a trap. It is. But you speed through them. This one I have played before, so doesn't mean I'm gonna do well. <laughs> this one you have to shoot and oh. go through it. Yeah, or go through it and shoot. Well, because you have to kind of do both at the same time. Because you're going down and you have to clear a path for yourself. Shoot as you go down. Yeah. Oh, but I missed it. Rough. One more try. Won't take too long on this. So you don't have to watch me die over and, and over get, again. You get a sense of how how it the gameplay is. Yeah. It's very beautiful looking. Yeah. So the environments are gorgeous. Nice. Ah! <laughs> well, you made a pass. Yeah, you kind of learn as you go because there's traps hiding around every corner. 10 second delay from when I type in the chat before it shows in their view. It There is a delay because... It has to go to us. Yeah. And then it but has to... But we're streaming video. And so we God play it a little ahead of before you see it. Yeah. And then you type in the chat and then that takes time to get back. So... And there's also a buffer. That yes. That you have on your end and also Twitch has on their end. On their end. So, yeah, 10 seconds, unfortunately. It's not terrible, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Considering everything. Oh, S. Ramirez, good night. 
Up for his first meeting at 3.30. Yeah. Made that passed. sounds very early. Oh, good job. Flying chickens. No. Flying chickens. Oh. Turn on the computer there. What are you doing? Ah, ah, up. ah, ah. Oh. You do have missiles. Oh. So you missiles? can shoot those. You have oh, an danger. 12 of them. So you have to use them sparingly. Can you shoot that? No. Hmm. You have to avoid it and not fall into it. Shoot. There you go. I'll just play this one till I die. Uh, I think we're going to go down on this one. And up on this one. Oh, God. Ah! ah! Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, it's a checkpoint. It's a checkpoint. That That's good. Good night. Night, S Rares. Uh, okay. Next game. Night Guy in Low Res World Castle mm -hmm. Days. I believe we're going to play this on the concerto. Yes, we are over to that. Mm, there's a crate to refill the missiles elsewhere on the level. Oh, good. That is mm. definitely needed. Yeah, level three has a different vibe to level two. Oh, yeah. I, bet it, I have not played it. Oh. No. Not plugged in? Or are you, do you need mine? Or no, that's, that's mine. Oh, it's wrong one. Is that mine? Wrong joystick. Two joysticks. That look very so similar. many joysticks on the floor right now. There is. That's. It's usually quite a mess by the end of the yeah. night. Atari is confused. He's sitting in the corner. <laughs> He's staying out of the way. Night guy. I know this is by VHZC, VHZC, mm -hmm. and VHZC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the first screen is white, but uh, it's supposed to be black. Oh, it looks fine, even yeah. in white. So it does. Um, and I was having. Um, Ooh. Definitely a cat. But you can't have a gray cat. You can only have a brown cat. But it's gray there. <gasps> what is happening? Cute. Cat was kidnapped by an evil dragon. That is definitely an Atari if I ever saw it. Yeah. So there's a consensus that the concerto needs to change itself back to black before it loads the game. Because right now the concerto makes the background white. Yes. But apparently in the BIOS mm. of the 7800, it sets the background to black. So on a default normal 7800, it always starts in black. So the concerto should emulate what, the, what a default 7800 does and just set it to black. Oh. No, get... I kept holding. There you go. Ah! <laughs> Ran right into it. Last life. Crossbow says, this game is my jam. Oh, it's such a fun game. It's such a good game. And the Mary Tyler Moore game over screen. Yes. Kitties. Rescue the kitty. Rescue the Atari yeah. cat. He's over there right now. Yeah, he's fine. He's not. He's, he's not. No, no Ataris were harmed in the making of this game. Love all the art in BHZC's games. Oh, he's yeah. so good. He's, and he, got, he's so good with his uh, graphic design. And he spends a lot of time on it, um, revisiting it and changing mm. it over and over again. Mm. So you know he really cares a lot about the artwork. Yeah. I was playing this when getting ready for the show and um, making sure what works on concerto, what doesn't, etc., mm. etc. And I played it till I died because <laughs> it's so fun. You can't stop once you no. start. No, because you're like, oh, just a, one more screen. Yeah. One more screen. <laughs> What's behind this screen? And what comes after this? Oh, yeah. And the 7800 and 2600 version are so close. Mm. Like, it's amazing um, port of each other. And I think I will leave that to last. Because I still have all my health. Do you not get extra health? Uh, you do, but you have to go back first. Mm. Uh, now that I have the sword, I can go kill the snake, which gives me mm. um, a key. I can't remember, yeah. Yeah, there's a tiny bit of backtracking in this game. Oh, 
Ah. Uh, they're very wide. Very precise, I find. Like Those aren't just These wide. ones are awkward little, sometimes. Yeah. A little more forgiving. So you need the sword to get the snake. And then you have to... And there's a pit there. <laughs> Fall away. And now you have the key. But this provides... X! <gasps> Ooh. I know. How to... Dangerous. Yep. These are like... It was like, uh, while this game was being developed, there was um, people who were trying to beat the clock. And oh, get, get yeah. the, the fastest time for the, the beta that was out at that yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I will get it, because now I'm down the life. And that should yeah. take me up to... F Four. Four. Gives you two more? Yeah. Gives you one, or it fills your life meter, is that, or how many lives oh, you have left, is that yes. what it is, up to four? Up to four. There is a heart that you can get that takes you up to five later, mm. so your maximum is five, so you need the key for that door. Yep. Oh, I remember playing it up to here and always just dying because the, the timing is brutal sometimes. It is. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's very, very nice. I remember very playing to up bypass, to this level, but, though. Uh, yeah. Very nice. are very precise too those yes you don't have a lot of extra time so you have to turn off yeah. that uh lava you have to go floor. back right or i can't remember you do have to go back after you uh make it <sighs> i remember you dying all the time <laughs> doing that like yes. you run through and it's like you run right into it so there's the button that turns off the lava flow mm-hmm mm -hmm. i remember this <laughs> dying over you're just over. like running through because you have to run to get those skulls, right? You can't slow you down. You have to time it perfectly. Or you'll get their second bullet. Yeah, so that's now open. We have played this game. Oh, yeah. I've... Oh, yeah, there's no heart in there because I'm not down any. Yeah. But there's the lava's off. if I told you you could have five lives at this point? Ooh. Well, that would be nice. There are hidden things in this game yeah. that I don't know about. That would be nice to have five lives. What? Oh. There's really fast ways of killing this guy, but I don't... I'm, yeah, I'm not skilled out. enough to do them. Mm. So you can jump while he's going back up and mm. hit him multiple times. But I'm not risk averse with this guy yeah amazing graphics in this game and a huge variety of graphics like there's no two rooms the same mm. every room is a different challenge a different layout and different enemies unbelievable has the uh, sound disappeared there's just nothing happening oh it's there I think I'm just talking. <laughs> Maybe. I like, I like the quivering. The quivering. Yeah, it's a nice... Oh, it's because he's against the wall. No. Oh, no. No. It's because he's standing still. Yeah, he quivers before he falls. He's like, and I'm coming. There you go. Good job. Uh, so this... Did you get a fifth one there? They... Yeah, it always yes. goes up by one, I think. Time that one a bit. There's some wide jumps I mm -hmm. hate. Quivering with anticipation. So there's very precise spots you need to be in this one. So there's the lock. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, and so I this one you have this. to go through three times. Yes. Ugh. And then you have to go back down, don't you? Yeah. You have to go back down, then you have to go back up again. Really? Yep. The whole way? Yep. Oh, silliness. Oh, that was close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn it! I hate those. I oh. Think I can get through it in one, but. Oh. Oh my god. Not good. It's that question mark. Anything? I don't know. Nothing. No. Yay! Hard. Hard. Sugar 
by up to five. Yeah. Yay. Going down past those is way easier than going, going up. Going back up, yeah. Ah, uh, I disagree. Going down is harder, I find. The timing on the first one is really hard going down. This level looks bad, but it's actually not. So cool, right? Eh? Double button. Oh, I hate this one. I almost always die there. It's it's hard. He moves really fast, doesn't he? Yeah. Great dragon. Oh my god. That was right. I touched that ball. I, sh <laughs> you I came, should have died. You there. came pretty close. And there you get the key, and then you have to go back. What what's to the uh, right it's a there. door. I'll show you right now. You need to open oh, that. Oh, yes. I remember you doing this. Yeah. <gasps> oh, no. no! <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Okay. Then you have to go through all of these levels again. Mm. Oh, I think it's too much backtracking. Should be a... And this is hard. And then you have to go back, right? Oh. All of this. It's cool going back through something because sometimes it changes. Yeah, how you play it. How you play it. <laughs> Did that on purpose. Yeah. And there's empty rooms where you defeat bosses. It still has a question mark. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's something there. Yeah, something I'm missing. I'm sure Crossbow knows. Seems to... Uh, mm -hmm. no, the game see, that's easier going that yeah. way. Yeah. Much easier. This... I find this... Well, maybe it's not too bad. There is a way you can drop down and just avoid all of them mm -hmm. by falling down the side. Mm. Very uh, Mega Man. You don't Man. die then? Yeah. Just a... And there's the key, which I get a bubble helmet. No, I press the button. It's not a timed one, though. Mm. Is it down below? Or? Uh, no, there's nothing down below. I suppose I can know. Oh. It's just you have to go back old up again. levels, yeah. I'm going to play till I die. Because I did so well in the roach in space. Mm. I'm like, eh, might as well do it. Mm -hmm. And it's so fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that does require double jump. Yeah, you have to. See, still question mark. What is this for? What is this? I can't do anything. Can't stab can't the stab wall. the wall. Because no. some walls you can stab through. Mm. I have no idea. Leap of faith. Yeah, when you fall oh, down the... The other one? Yeah. Yeah. But there's lots of um, bonus things I'm missing. That was close. <gasps> That's the worst. Now that big gate should be open to the right, mm -hmm. which it is. Oh no, I forgot something. It's to think like a Mario Brothers. I forgot, I need, what is happening? I forgot something. Didn't you get, oh no, that's how you do it. You, got <laughs> you, the bubble press, you have to press down. <laughs> you have to press down, look at that water. It's so nice. Coming out eh? of that skull thing. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Just nicked the edge of it. I don't remember seeing you do this. 
No, because I die usually before this. <laughs> like, I just... Ugh. I have to run almost ahead of him. There. Oh, there you go. Follow behind him. Look at that shark. Gorgeous. Purple shark. It's purple on my screen. Mm -hmm. 7,800 colors are very subjective. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. No, I have done this. Yeah? I've done this once. I've beaten them. <gasps> Got one. Oh, yeah, you have to. Oh, it's Damn all it. in the timing. One life left. Oh, no. And take it slow. Because you can't go up too high because of that other bubble when jumping oh, over. Yeah. <gasps> no! That was good, though. Press down! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carspo. Very good. Mm -hmm. uh, I love that game. Mm -hmm. okay, what can you say? It's. Uh, VHC stuff is just incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the next game we're going to be playing is Popeye 78. No, Night Guy on Board, 30 Squares of Fate by VHC. Mm -hmm. He's got uh, three works in progress wow. nominated. Wow. He has been busy in 2020. And I believe this works just fine on the uh, concerto. Yep. Ah. I'll let you play this one. You're going to need an hour to play Night Guy on board. No, we've shown it on the show before, so I think we're, we'll go through that pretty quick. We'll play a couple mini games. Okay. Night Guy on board? Yep. Yeah, we could play play it for hours. Hours, hours. We'll just show, we'll, we'll do like I a think couple of rounds. Crossbow of posted a video of an hour of him playing. Oh, really? He actually finished, oh, wow. he finished the game. Oh, good. The beta. Yeah, you can see the white screen was yeah. there. So it's a board game. It's all the board uh, spots around the edge, and you roll a flipper. It's kind of this flippy It's It's thing. basically a dice. It's a dice. It's like a two-sided magic <laughs> flippy dice. Um, and there is RPG elements like this. You get gold, you get experience, uh, you level up, you get higher attacks, you fight against harder opponents. You're that little knight guy that's moving around. Mm -hmm. This rock, paper, scissors. Costs $7. It's random. I always pick rock. Draw. You can do it. I believe you. Ah! Oh, you lost all your money. No. <laughs> Down to zero. It's a spinner. Oh. Yeah. Oh, like on pinball machines. It's like um, where it's flipping the score. And uh, VHC did a mini game before this on the twenty six hundred. Ah! <laughs> that was just I haven't like done this. I haven't done very well on this one when I've played it before. So this is like twenty games in one. This game. <sighs> it is. It's yeah. an incredible amount of work. Oh. Thank you, Fairy Nurse. I needed the the healing. Yeah. So you've got fourteen hit points right now. Go back six spaces. So on those open gray spaces right now there's just like helpful hints for mm. the game cosmic arc style minigame yes yeah and i love that part in cosmic arc it's so much fun arcade game like this too called zap off i think um for what part of this oh you're back ah. on this one again ah you have to you have to hit the side before it gets oh, to you because yeah. I think I'm so used to hitting it on time, space. but you actually want to point your sword before it gets to you. I'll look up that space zap. What you guys are talking about? Never heard of that. I definitely don't have the money for Anything. any of these. Not even close. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. Space zap. It's it's like the cosmic arc, but that's the whole game. Don't steal my coins. I have no coins to start with. Seven. Oh. Seven, somebody made a 2600 version of Space Zap. Oh. And the guy circles around. But they only made the first part, like the Cosmic Arc part. Somebody needs to make Space Zap, like an actual. Oh, and then they shoot. Yeah, that'd be a great port, actually. That'd be easily done in the 2600. 
<laughs> I got pretty far. I was playing this the other day when I was oh. off to duck. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I got pretty far, but I still didn't complete it. So hard. So which mini game have you not played yet? Uh... The flying dragon one. Yeah. Oh, I've oh. done this one. You have to do the musical notes. Just in time. Nope. Oh, you got it. Just in time. <laughs> Look at the last millisecond. <laughs> getting them. <laughs> but you're getting them. There is a puzzle in this game, uh, the sliding puzzle. I, I, the comments <laughs> on the uh, Atari Age forums reflect my uh, opinion on the sliding puzzle game. <laughs> you don't game. like the sliding puzzles, eh? And now somebody else went, yeah, I just die. I just slide them till my turns are out. And that's what I'm, I, I'm I do I'm not too. terrible at those games, but you have to practice them. You can't you just do. get them. And, and it's the same game every time, I think. Um, he probably mixes it up. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Will be time on the show for eight bit nominations? Oh yeah. We'll be playing till it's done. <laughs> dance dance revolution night guy mix. Okay, we've shown off of this. Okay. Um because this game I you do can play not for like a long the sliding time. puzzle. Yep. Slidey puzzle. No. Oh that <laughs> was him. Smutty funster. Night Muddy Funster. 4 a.m. Thanks for staying up. Mm. Um now we're gonna be playing Popeye seventy eight hundred. Mm. Um, by Daryl Genther, is how you pronounce his name. Uh, Daryl, 1970. Programming and graphics, Bobby Clark. I'll read those after we start going. Uh, and I believe we're going to play this on the emulator because there's some music that does not work mm. on the concerto, unfortunately. And that's why I'm swapping out Between the them. chips. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the chips, yeah. yeah. Destroying a 5200 now. Hopefully it's socketed so I can... Mm. Uh, not destroy it. Okay, Popeye. You guys heard it. I'll start it over. This is a nice little thing in the beginning. So this is the demo version, mm -hmm. where you get one life. Okay. Um, and he has made, obviously that with all these works in progress, he has made lots of updates since this. Um, but this is very, very full featured. Um, and it works just fine, so it's good for evaluating. And I've gotten a lot of practice in this game now. It's a lot of fun. And I used to play this on my C64 a lot. Oh, you got me! Yeah, don't hesitate or stay below him too long. You get two-ish lives. And when you're two levels below him, he can jump down two oh, levels. Oh, to punch! Mm. My turn! Demo over! Demo over! <laughs> Give it, hand it over. Yep. <laughs> You can play two players, but mm. eh, we'll just hand it off. Mm. In the full version, mm. um, it has an option for playing two players with one joystick, oh. two players with two joysticks. Oh, I see. Um, it has a but, novice. And but it, you play Popeye once, right? Like, there's not two players on the screen. No, no. no. Yeah, it's not, not like I get time. to be olive oil and you get to be Popeye. That would be cool. That would be cool. I get to throw the hearts down. That's like think? a... It could be Sweet Pea throwing the hearts down at the top. We both... Be helping out Sweepy. Who's Sweepy? The baby. Oh, the baby. cute. That would be cute. Did they adopt Sweepy, or is there? This... I don't. I don't know the mythology <laughs> of Popeye. I don't. I don't know much about that. Because usually in in um, cartoons, it's like, oh, they never have sex. It's adopted. <laughs> it's always uncle or. 
you know, yeah, di- relations that aren't it's direct. It's true. It's like Donald Duck is the uncle of the nephews. And yeah. There is oh, a, my God. There is a truth to that. I'm playing again. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. I don't know. I never saw that horrible Ro- Robin Williams movie either. Didn't he play Popeye? He did. Is it uh, horrible? I well, mean, I, I heard I, it was I, bad, but I, I... I saw it as a kid. And I you? liked it, but I was a kid. So. I... Seeing it through the lens of... Yeah. It's like all it's the millennials silly. who like Star Wars, and I just can't... <laughs> the I don't new understand. Star Wars. Well, like the, the prequels. Yeah. Who are like, oh, you know, like they grew up watching the prequels, and they know all the mythology, and I'm just like, ugh. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't... Risky. Get those hearts. Oh, she threw it. You didn't quite hit I, it. I punched past it. I yeah. Guess. Playing terribly, terribly. I didn't look. Which version is this? It's the demo. Uh, demo. The last one released in 2020. Yeah. yeah. I can't remember. It should say on the title screen. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the hearts are falling into the ground. <gasps> oh, he came oh, up the stairs. I thought no. he was just going to jump up. One more. Uh, he just released 2.7 this evening. Yes. Nice. Uh, the link, no. I have not uh, updated that. I'm getting ready for the show. This is 2.8. Um, I believe Olive had a husband in the comics before Popeye debuted. Oh, really? Maybe Sweet Pea is there, so that's the only thing I can think of. Really? I think in the live-action movie, Sweet Pea was adopted, and the cartoon Sweet Pea was really... Was, re- was really adopted? <laughs> uh, 2.8, yeah. I, I think mm. the numbering is... Let me just verify mm. this. Mm. Let me go back to the last release of 2020. Mm. Yeah, he labeled it 2.8. I don't know why. <laughs> because hmm. not was not then really 2. adopted. 9. Gotcha. In the action movie, he was not really adopted. Oh, it's really way. funny. He changed his numbering scheme. He went two point eight, two point nine, then back to two point four. Hmm. Weird. But yeah, I can play one more. <laughs> <laughs> I take it. Two point eight. Mm. Not. Uh, yeah. It says limited demo two point eight beta. So maybe there's a his two point eight beta. I don't know. His numbering got a little weird. Okay. I, I don't know why, because I download them and keep track of them every single one that comes out. Maybe he's going backwards, and then he'll start going into fractions at a certain point. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Or negative numbers. Maybe. Imaginary numbers. <laughs> there we go. He's changed the width of the stairs to be more like the arcade now. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they're in the ground. They're in the ground. Uh, 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 I gotta go down the stairs to the left. Oh, he's gonna jump. Nope. He's just gonna wave his hand. Watch out. That one's almost to the bottom. There we go. Whew. Made it. Let's go back up. It's almost time for spinach. Spinach time. Yeah, I've got almost enough hearts. Yeah, let's do the spinach and rescue those hearts. Because it p- pauses all the hearts when you get the spinach. So now there's only one more left. And then ah. if you go up to here. Oh no. Oh, he paused. <laughs> oh, I'll finish off the level. Yay! Yay. Aww, it was so t- cute. I bucket him and then get the spinach. Oh, okay. That's another tactic, yeah. There's not as many uh, notes to get in this as there is to get hearts, I don't think. The 
notes go down ah. fast. Yeah. Ooh, I gotta get that note. There we go. Uh, I think it's a bit of time. What do you think? Yeah. It's only four or five more notes to get. This one's hard to get him. Because he just runs back and forth. Oh, you have to go. Oh, yeah. Sometimes we peek it and catch you. Get hit by a bottle. Oh, yep. No. Should have gone down the ladder instead. Oh, there's a biography of Sweepy. Nice. Oh, one more note. Me TV has been airing the Max Fitcher Popeyes as well as the oh. Paramount Pictures Famous Studios versions. Nice. I haven't seen any mention about Sweepy Moses being style. Oh. Mm. So he just appears. Popeye finds him. Nice. So there's a bird on the third level mm -hmm. that just constantly comes at you. You have to collect all the help, which makes a ladder up to the top. Oh, need to go. It feels oh God. faster. Ah, you can't punch him. Oh, yeah. the spinach flipped right at the last minute. Too. <laughs> this is how it works. Super fun it looks game. Looks beautiful too. Beautiful, it's beautiful. Even better now yeah. on the new updates. Um, great. He's he's just narrowing down everything that was in the arcade closer and closer with each release. Mm. Yeah, and the music's great. Everything is awesome. Doo -doo. Okay, next game is Spire of the Ancients. And I believe we play this on concerto. Yes. Back to the concerto. Um, so let's turn, pause that, and switch back to concerto. And get the joystick. It's all wrapped up. Oh, it's. Why is it in a knot? Can you put that know. through Why? there? Why is it in a knot? Why is it in a knot? Come on. He's like, he's looking at the joysticks. He's like, no. Oh, in the live action movie, he's found floating in the water. Okay. So that's part of it. Can you load up uh, Spire of the Ancients? This is by B.H.B. Smith, a.k.a. Smitty B. Is that correct? Come on. Come on. Do you want a soot sprite? <laughs> soot sprite. Ooh. Oh, I have nice. never had the concerto cart with the, um, with the Atari, Atari box. box. So beautiful uh, intro screen. Intro is gorgeous. Go for it. So this is an RPG. You can look at our full video to read that. I'm not going to read it out right now. No, nope. <laughs> didn't get that. No. Sometimes the Atari Vox is a bit uh, hard to understand. So it's a square by square movement, a 3D game. Come on. Let's go up here. There we go, Atari. So you have to light that up to open the gate and you go to the next level. We actually finished this game. We did. At the point it was at. Yeah. Yeah. It took a long time. Like three hours, four hours. It took a long time. The music. Dun, 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 dun. Good stuff. Yeah, great music. So you have to get the key to that. I'm just wandering. <laughs> I'm sure. Step on that. And that opens dun, up. Dun, 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 dun. That gate to your left. Or no, it, to the right, I guess. Somewhere. It opened up a gate. Not the door. Not the door. You have to go through the place where it opened up. Which I 
one is not too far from where that door is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I wish we had the Atari Vox oh, going. You don't. But we we were playing this on emulator last time, so we yes, missed all of this. We missed all oh, of the good stuff. Oh, key. So find that door again. There we go. Uh oh yeah, have to press. So there's lots of enemies in this, so you have to step on that plate. Oh, the wind pushes you away, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you have to go around and then step on the plate. Because you can't approach it straight on. There you go. So it blew you away. Now you go back out. Back out? Yep. Back the out door? The door, yeah. Because you stepped on a plate, which activated another, I think, the gate beside mm. the store. Well, this is three hours back in our playtime. That was this way. There you go. Down, right? Yeah. Those little bits that fall. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> yeah. And we'll play till we get to the first encounter with a... A blob? Batty. So remember, hit, move away. Hit, move away. Oh, yeah. Because if you stand there and just go attack, attack, you will die. I don't have anything to hit it with. Your hand. No, you're standing there. Gotta move. I can't. There you go. Now move. Now move. There. There we go. Yeah. How dead am I now? HP uh, 9? You only lost one. Oh, that's not bad. Because you have to move before he goes... Mah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty slow. <laughs> he is very slow. He's a very slow moving gelatinous blob. I just looked it up. The live action sweet pea is left in the basket and swapped out by a woman with olives. Popeye is the one that names him sweet pea. Oh. Mm. So, going through this game, it has like. Is that weapons? Do we ever get weapons? Yeah, we get weapons later, right? Um, there's treasure to find, there's keys, um, I think you're fighting two of them. Was I? No. No? no. Oh, okay. He's just moving. Yeah, he was just Oh, moving. he's pressing buttons. Are you pressing buttons, yeah, little, he went, little dude? Yeah, went like this to the buttons. Oh, oh he's, he's actually pressing the right button. Yeah? Yep. Good kitty. Good kitty. <laughs> <laughs> we have him trained <laughs> with a bell. And yeah. he rings the bell with his paw to get, to get treats. treats. Yeah. I'll have to do that in the stream one day. You'll have to uh, put, post the video I have of him doing that. Oh, somebody be here. In this build, there's a knife, a sword, a fireball. When you get your focus stat, hits 10. Uh, I am fighting two of them. Oh, dear God. Move. Move. Don't stand there. Move out of the way. There you go. You do have to hit them. Because they can only attack you when they're in focus, like on your screen. Oh, God. Go. <laughs> run. 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 There you go. Okay. Well, you, you probably do eventually have to fight them. This, you know, in the comics and cartoons, Sweet Pea's origin changes depending on the years. There we go. Finally. Ah, uh, you only had one hit left on him. Ah! There oh. We they were close. Uh, you do regain your health as you move. Oh, yeah. Pretty you quick. Do. Thank goodness. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Especially since there's no potions right now. There's a lot of these gelatinous blobs around. <laughs> Ah. That's even worse! Run away! <laughs> Run away! I don't think there's a generator for them. They just... They you're just, just encountering them. Ugh. Why are there so many? I don't remember this many when we played last time. Well, we played a different build. 
That's true. They change. They're just... I can't remember if we played an earlier one, or... I think we played an earlier one than this. No dungeon crawler is complete without the beginning slime monsters. Or rats. Don't forget rats. Pretty much a requirement, I think, yeah. This guy's gonna take a lot out of me. How You're... do I have, like, no... There we go. Ah, oh, you got it. Ugh. Okay. It's a very extensive game. So it is. I suggest you either watch our long four-hour playthrough. <laughs> it was quite a long playthrough. It or was good, um, check it out yourself. Um, and he has also... Um, does that give you health? Something like that. Yeah. It's like an upgrade. There's a door. I think he... Um, Smitty B also posted... Oh, back here. He also posted a uh, map. A tiny, tiny map. We made a map as well. Nice. Okay. Let's go through it. Oh. Yes. Select. Yeah. There you go. Go through it. Yeah. Beginning slime monsters. Pretty slime. much a requirement. It's that or rats. Those are your options. Slimes. Yeah. Rats. Or you wake up on a cart on your way to prison. <laughs> oh, we didn't get this guy. Oh, I don't remember that guy no, at all. No, this is a later build than we played. Yeah. Nice. There are a lot of enemies in this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. cool. Okay. Um, so that is the last of the Atari 7800 works in progress. You're leaving again? I Just very, very oh, okay. briefly. We can bye talk bye. about what's coming up next. So. Okay. Um, so now that you've seen them all, definitely go and vote for all the 7800 games. Whichever one you think you like the most. Or whatever criteria you like to judge games on. Or you can pick it randomly. Whatever you like. It's up to you. I don't judge. That's for up to you to do. So I'm going to switch the audio over to the Atari 8-bit system. And we have six more games to go. So let's switch over to that because that's composite in. I'll just make sure it's working. It should be. It's flashing. Oh, oh, things are happening. Looking pretty good. There we go. The ultimate cart. Um, I think only two games I can play uh, out of the six Atari 8-bit games. Let's see if the first one is the one I can play. Oh, I can. Excellent. Um, so the first one is Biscuits in Hell by Paul Lay. Playsoft, Daryl Genther, Daryl1970, Jaden J.R.H. J.R.H. Houghtons, uh, at Jaden, J.R.H. And this is converted from a ZX Spectrum game. <laughs> James, this is North American. Composite. What did I say? Didn't I say composite? Or did I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable? Uh, did I say composite? Oh, composite. How do you say that? What? The word C-O-M-P-O-S-I-T-E. Composite? Or yeah. composite? Oh, composite. That's what they're trying to get me to say. Composite? North America. Well, we're in Canada. <laughs> so things composite. are a little different in Canada with pronunciations. Composite? We... Composite. 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 Composite cable? Composite. I say composite. You say composite cable. But, but I, w I would say compo composite. I, it depends on what, what it is. I don't know. Compos <laughs> composite. <laughs> oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> composite. A? Composite. A? Yeah. Exactly. What is happening? I'd say you had it the first time. Com composite. Composite? Now I'm confused. Now, now everyone's saying it. Uh oh, oh, that's why. Uh oh, didn't you glue that on? Yep. Oh, so much for the super glue. The glues, come on. It is definitely having issues. Look at that. I'm so worried about that. Oh, there we go. Okay, biscuits in hell. Ooh. Um, so I played these all. Okay. Um. Before the show, yesterday and today. 
Original ZX Spectre game. Biscuits in hell. Uh, very British, because... Well, it's not cookies <laughs> in hell. It's, it's not biscuits cookies in, in hell. hell. Tea biscuits, bourbon. <laughs> nice. So, uh, start. Your Are there game. penguins in there somewhere? Level two, level oh. two one. So you have to get all the biscuits um, by just touching them. Then you press down oh, to go through. Oh, they're like little. You can only go down. And there's also a wormy thing. What's the? Oh god! And there's a bomb that explodes the whole level. Oh. Uh, there is a gun Cute. you can get. It's a the lot of, a lot rich of tea, the blandest of all. <laughs> that is <laughs> hilarious. Ooh, can I get that one? Yes, just in time. Uh, I gotta go and get out of that level quick. There we go. And then this takes you back to the top again. What is that? Oh, fast running. Thanks. That is awesome. I yeah. will take that. So there's power-ups that you can get as well. Neat. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm slow again. Oh. Going to destroy that word with my Quebec accent. <laughs> <laughs> Europe calls it that, like spelling color wrong. It means spelling color correctly. Rich tea name for it is neither. Yes, Using agreed. all the words. <laughs> yeah. All the words. I want that star. I don't know what it is. Can you go up or just down? No, you can't oh. go up. Only down. So you have to wait for that bomb to go. So I've got all the cookies on that level. Wait, wait, wait. There. So you have to wait for the guy to pass, right? So you don't mm. accidentally... Oh, I should have gone to the right of that guy. So you kind of have to plan out your route yeah. as well. I want to get that star. Let's see what that is. Ooh, I am invincible! Quick, go down, get that one at the top. Oh, oh what? Oh, there's one more cookie. Uh, no. Go beyond that guy. I can't get it. That, that wormy's coming. Damn it. I have to do another pass. Wait. And then. Go there, go there, and wait, and go there, and cookie. Yay! Cookies! Dig down, Mr. D. You can buy. Yeah. Take a chocolatey bourbon biscuits. Yeah, those are good. They're chocolatey? I think yeah. I've had these. Mm -hmm. They're all part of, what is it, Peak Being Freens? <laughs> no, like Peak Freens mix of cookies. Oh, there's a block. Oh, oh. God. So I can't get is past that. Is it Peak Freens? Peak Freens. Ah, 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 ah. Damn it. There's a bomb going off in the next level. Oh. I couldn't make it. This is a great game. Yeah. It'd be a little hard to make on the 2600 because I was for late thing. Because there's a lot on the same line. Yeah. Like there's the cookies, there's the guys, there's nice. the power-ups. I really want tea and biscuits right now. <laughs> yes. We have... Um, Very suggestible. What do we have upstairs? Did, we, did you get some biscuits? Yeah, some I got cookies? the oat ones. What are they <gasps> called? Um, oh, bo uh, not hobnobs. Hobnobs. No. Yes. Yes, hobnobs. Hobnobs? Yeah. Yummy. They're hobnobs so upstairs. good. Good times. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gun. Bam. Nice! You can actually get rid of them. Uh, you only get one shot. Oh, not permanently. Uh, you know, I've got three ammo. But I'm not. I should use it wisely. Yes. Oh, and there's spikes now. Damn it. Okay. We'll have to wait for that bomb. Hurry up, bomb! Hurry up, hurry up, bomb! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Ah! No, I think you. It, should it have gone takes past quite it. a while for the bomb to go off. Nice. Your turn. I'm sure you'd like Ooh, to play this. I was this. just about to say I'm inspired to, <laughs> to buy, to buy some, some hobnobs. hobnobs. They're yep. so yummy. Yummy hobnobs. So this game is right up my alley. I love yeah. games like this. So much fun. Minions without pants. Yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> what they are. <laughs> Down to, to level. Oh, yeah, you no. should have told me that. I was hitting the button. Sorry, button is for shooting when you have it. The game seems crazy and hectic at first, but you get a handle on it after a bit. Because you're kind of watching two levels at once. You only have to watch the one you're on and the one you're going to. Oh! Yeah. I didn't, I didn't mean to hit down. I didn't mean to uh, hit. <laughs> ah, okay. The button is not even useful, really. The character is a lot like... Oh, that's what they're talking about. The character looks like Mr. Do and Dig Dug. Yeah. 
not the levels. I'm like, a little bit of Mr. Do, uh, <gasps> Mr. Do's castle, but not really Mr. Do. Down. <sighs> Just in time. Get it. Get that cookie. Oh, no! I didn't hit down. Ah! That was an unintentional. I need to practice I think you this went one. up. Did I? Mm. No. Did no, I you can't go up. I didn't hit down. I thought I hit down, but I did. Cake! Get that cake! What is that cake? Oh, bonus. Just bonus. Okay, there's a bomb. Don't go down yet. It should. It should get the the. Comes a wormy down. Ah! down. Ah! <laughs> that was tight. Almost got the gun. I just needed to run to the left. Yellow guys remind me of Speedy Egbert too. Yeah. Hi, Atari. They do look like minions. Oh yes, more than anything else. No. Here. So there's a clock up there. I think that pauses everyone, maybe? Oh, oh. I thought it was past. That was fun. That's it for over. you. Game you really captures the essence of scarfing a packet of biscuits while trying to avoid people who want to share them. <laughs> <laughs> so there's different options. Hard. Easy. Oh, the player character has idle animations. Oh, neat. Music only, music and sound effects. This is a spectrum version. Oh, kittens! <laughs> oh, he's purring. Oh, you didn't know you almost got sat on. Didn't know you almost got sat on? No. Oh, poor, poor fluffy. I don't know what the spectrum version means. Harder? Is there some aspect of it that's a little different in play? Well, I'm not knowledgeable enough about the game. Yeah. To know that yet. Oh my goodness, I want cookies so bad now. <laughs> I'm so suggestible. Yeah, something's James on TV. James knows. I'm terrible. Commercial. I just I avoid advertising for the most part because it's just just has a very. It's problematic. It's very problematic. <laughs> Negative effect on my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Soon. I gotta go past and get the last cookie. Nice. One I life. wanna see I wanna see a couple of uh, cookie levels. Okay. Try well, to get past I'll try. The, the bourbon creams. This one was uh Ooh. a lot harder. Yeah, these guys move really fast, those um bumpy okay. head dudes. Uh, yeah. They're like owls? They look like explodey oh. owls. The other <laughs> one seems to move really quickly. This is really cool though. Oh my god. And when you go on the level, they move even faster. <gasps> yeah, they chase you in a way. Yep. So you have to get in and off that level with them really on it. Really quickly. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I got <gasps> off of it, but I died. Oh no. Are you kidding? Got most of it. What? Oh, you have to start over? You have to do the whole thing oh, in one life. No, that's awful. That's why Spectrum, that's what's the difference. So you want to jump down to the level when the guy's walking away from you. Yeah, well, yeah, depending. The blue guy, the blue guy, because they speed up. Oh, yes, that's right? true. So, no, see, they speed up. You can only get, like, one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have 126 lives. Look at that. What? You have, you have almost infinite lives. Infinite lives? How? Look. Look, 126 lives at the bottom. So there's no score. What? You lose it's lives? It's all about levels in this oh. one. So here, they're walking away. But you they speed up really quick. Oh, there's one yeah. at the top. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at him relaxing Look there. at him relaxing. This is his okay. favorite position. Okay, we're going to move on to the next one. Okay. Uh, which is Disco Pop. And I think we're going to emulator for this. Mm. Because... My system doesn't like it. Um, I'm not knowledgeable enough to know why the XEGS does not like this next game. Yeah. I just don't know. It just doesn't like it. It just doesn't like it. It's a 
such a beautiful it's, system. It's really gorgeous. So for the emulator, we're going to be using Altira. Mm -hmm. um, it uh, runs everything that I want it to. That's not the right game it's playing right now. Okay. But you guys don't get to see it, so it's okay. Come on. That's not the right game. <laughs> it's got good music. It's good, good hold music while you're waiting. Atari likes it. <laughs> does he? Yes, he does. Oh. I'll start it again. There we go. Berlin Softworks presents. So, Colonel Lama said it might be your cart actually played Disco Pop on my XCGS the other day and it worked just fine. So what? Maybe. I was able to get to this point with my mm -hmm. cart and then it just doesn't play. Mm. So, I don't know. So, you don't want the bubbles coming back to the line. And they kind of fill up the space till they hit a wall. And there's a sample oh. from aliens there. So, that's a good one. Is it? That's not a good that one. That stops. Oh, it takes up a lot of space. I yeah. get it. That one's not a great one. No. <laughs> because now it's harder to bounce them back because they're going to bounce back to the line. <laughs> Oof. No. Oh, my God. It's so oh, hard. Wow. You want it close to the wall so it doesn't get too big. Yeah. I get it. And But you can also... You want to crack them, too. Oof. Oh, no. No, that oh. one's in the way. Colonel Lama says, I'm using Fujinet, though. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm using uh, the Ultimate Atari cartridge. Um, oh, God. From, yep. Oh, oh you, can, you can shoot through the line. Uh, yeah, the line is just to tell you. So is it how many? There oh. we go. It's not whole one point <laughs> by, by breaking them yeah oh <sighs> there you go interesting um by oh what's it i'll show you i'll show you the card oh that was it. terrible oh what is it from uh the brewing academy not very big. Probably be bigger there, but blurry. <laughs> so that doesn't help much. I wonder if my Uno for the 8-bit can run on my 130XE. It's not good. It should. <sighs> Might be your cart, actually. Play Disco Pop. Hmm. I hope it's not my cart. It could be the SD card. Ooh, what is that thing at the bottom? Oh. Oh. It's kind of like, I don't know what it's like, some game where uh, you have to get close to the line. Yeah. And the closer to the line, the better. So really you want it kind of bouncing and around in that area up there between those things. <gasps> no, oh, that's, that's bounce very back. very bad. Get it right up over there. And boom, 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 boom. Uh, thank you to WAG for following. Oh. Interesting. It is an interesting game. <laughs> it's so interesting. So that's a good, good-ish. No. <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard. Mm-hmm. It's it's there. it's hard to tell how far it's going to hey, ricochet. Foot. Yeah. Hey, Rita Foot. Ooh. Oh, oh no. no, that's bad news. Oh, it's terrible. Let's get it up in there. You just got to crack as many as you can with them. Yep. Oh, oh bounce back. Oh, ricocheted. So you can kind of set them up. Yeah. It's a puzzle bobble bowis. Bowls, bowls crossover. Don't know bowls. Never knew I needed. 
Yeah, it's a very strategic no. game. Oh no. Oh, you really have to get around. Angle. You really have to get behind. Yep. Yeah. You just want to get it far to the back. Yep. Like, yeah. none of the shots are really bad. Like, you, setting them um, up is, is fine. Like, getting them up there. Each of them takes three hits, no matter how big they're, big or small they are. You just don't want it coming back on you. Like no, that. you don't want you don't want it in, in an open space, because that screws you. Mm. Bowls is like curling, but on grass. Mm. Oh, bowls, oh. like lawn bowls. Lawn bowling. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like at the actual lawn bowling. Yeah, crack yeah. it. Crack it good. Crack those, those eggs. eggs. There we go. Mm -hmm. Get in the hang of it a bit now. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure it's not bouncing back at you. Oh. But then you start blocking yourself. Well, right? yeah, you have to kind of break some that are there to... To open it oh, up Oh, yeah, see, that was good. You, th you hit three at once. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can hit multiple. Yeah, you want to hit how many? That's bad. Three, three or more. Uh, it needs three cracks to break, but that's... then that happens, right? You have to, you have to bank it in a way. Yes, this is an Atari eight-bit homebrew. It is nominated for best eight-bit homebrew in the Atari Homebrew Awards. Oh, that was bad. Uh, yeah, that's taken up a lot of space. Um, it is called Disco Pop. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Mm. As long as it doesn't come over the line. Oh, boy. Nice Get it in that no, corner. No, no, no. I'm going to die right away. <laughs> You're going to die no matter what. Because it ricochets too oh, much. Good, good bounce, It though. ricochets too much. Now get rid of that big one on yeah, the right. No. First hit will do it. Oof. Oof. That is not the worst. Because uh, I can bounce it out yep. that way. That's good. The object of the game is to pop the bubbles, but you're also creating the bubbles at the same time. Mm. You have to hit a circle three times to pop it. So you can see the cracks in the in the in the bubbles each time. So some of them have two already. A bunch of them have two. <gasps> oh that is not good. Does it bounce back when or does it yes, go it does. through oh, oh it does bounce it does back. bounce back yeah Ooh. it is fun it is a lot of fun you just want to play it one more time <laughs> one more time it's it's like oh, a it's kind of like pool but as if the ball exploded when it stopped moving it's this basically... is a perfect game for a, a phone because there is one button. It would be button. a great phone game. Yeah, you're right. It's one button. Yeah. Like all we're doing is because you don't control the the angle. You, it just continually um goes back and cycles forth. Cycles back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the moving ch cannon yeah. is the challenge. It's not it's, too it's bad. It's all in the timing of it. You, yeah. You get the aiming fairly good. Yeah, it is a bit bubble bobble esque for sure. Yeah. <gasps> no. Oh. Ooh. Nice, nice That's big good. one. That's good. Yeah, very good. Oh, get it, get it, get it! Oh, oh. so close. Two as points. long as it's close to the wall, you're okay. Yeah. But if it ricochets really far away, ooh. No, no, no. That's oh, okay. Oh, 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 That's oh, okay. That That's fine. not too bad. You're doing really well. Actually, the small ones are going to be hard to get. <gasps> I got some. <laughs> I don't know. A pause? Oh God. What is that? Oh, I can has, I have a pause button. Yeah. I don't know how to. It's probably a keyboard thing. Oh. Ooh, that was good. I want to do that exactly again. Oh! No! Got a new high score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the sounds are digitized, for sure. Double, double bubble, bubble award. award. Oh, <laughs> double bubble. Nice. Super fun, Seven J. Yeah. Thank you, Arena <laughs> Foot. It's my high score. That's a great game. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one is uh, Dizzy, The Ultimate Cartoon Adventure by Frantizek, Fandel, Hora, Christian Cougar, 
Kruger L Gen were uh, converted for Commodore 64 requires 128 kilobytes of RAM. I know why this one doesn't work because that's a 64K okay. system. Okay. This needs 128. Okay. Did you answer what game and system to the person who asked? Uh, this game? No, the, well, the current one. We, we uh, Disco playing. Pop. Yeah. This is for Atari 8-bit systems. Yeah. Like an XEGS, like, like what we're playing XEGS. right now. Yes. Or any of the Atari... Not sure what they it. are. A-F-I-A-I-K. It doesn't use the keyboard. What? I guess they're just awards. Yeah, that yeah. would make sense. Dizzy! Dizzy, Codemasters, C64 version, 1988 Oliver Twins, Atari Port 2020 by Fandel okay. and Urgendwer. Urgendwer? Uh-oh. Good luck to put that one tomorrow. Recording the names. Oh, am I, is that what I'm doing? Yep, tomorrow? you're going to do all the names. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, press button. Dizzy is a very popular British uh, game. So you press the button to jump and spin. You have to be moving, I think. This? Is this the right? Well, you're moving. Oh, up. Oh, up. I don't know why you don't press try all the controls before giving up. You're like, ah, it doesn't work. No, no, because I'm thinking, <laughs> I, I'm thinking, you're you're saying press the button, oh, so I'm pressing the button. Know. How is that my issue? <laughs> so you have to collect things. I've seen lots of video of Dizzy, Ooh. but I've never played a Dizzy game That's because weird. they're popular on um, British 8-bit computers. Um, it was also on the C64, but I never had it. And I've never had a Spectrum or any of the systems like that. Now, button is normally used for using items oh. in the Dizzy. Oh, oof. This doesn't seem like a good thing. Oh, you're almost up there. No, don't think you can make it up. I think I'm going to die. Oh, you're in a pit. Oh, maybe you have to go down. Do I? Or maybe you're not even supposed to be here. Oh, yep, that's yeah. death. <laughs> yeah, there's no way to get past that. I've never played one of these games before, so. Yeah, I wouldn't go there. Oh. Everything kills you. Okay, good too. It's also very hard to know what kills you as well. Oh. You have to jump before it, probably. Uh, interesting. Because they're the same color, right? The things that mm. kill you, like that spider, are the same color as the tree. I think you might have to jump on the pot and then jump yeah. over to the left. Yeah. Oh, nope. I'll get on the edge, maybe, a bit more. That's funny. Yeah, the control scheme in Dizzy games are... Really weird? Oh, uh, really weird. Because you're spinning and jumping everywhere, right? Yeah. Where are we supposed to go, then? I don't know. Maybe I have to jump from here? Nope. There's popular, and then there's better than the dross that most games available were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did it! And died. And I, death. I jumped too much. Uh, oh, not, button is normally for using items in the Dizzy series. Yeah, so if you collect sense. an item, you can use it. That would make sense. And I walked, see, and, you, and things Yeah, are, some things are... Like, I can walk through this, but Like, I that looks like that might be a level that you can jump onto. But I can't walk through that. On the tree, yes. right? But you can't... I'm going to try. Can you kill spiders? Uh, mm. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I had an item, I could, but I don't yet. Mm. And you can't jump. <gasps> Oh, 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 I almost jumped you over jump. You can't smush I bet it. I could. You should be able to smush the spider, but that's okay. I love these old games where it's just like, <laughs> figure it out. out. And there's so just, much precision. Just spend a few days and figure out how it works. And like, no one tells you anything. Oh, you just oh go was I up there? I don't know. Yeah, you were. You were, I think. But it doesn't oh, what's matter that? too much. That looks like a thing I can get. Can you press a button on it? Oh, yes. a mucky grease gun. Interesting. I don't think I have a use for that yet. No, probably not. Oh, can you go in that house? Uh, well, maybe. Was there an open door? I don't yeah. know. Looks like it. Um, and in these games, no. they had a, a thing of naming every level. The village of Sagam. Sagam. So if I go to the next level, this also has a name. Oh, it doesn't. Well, usually they do. 
This guy's floating around randomly. Can you trip on him or does he Oh, he's going to kill me for sure. Is that something I can pick up? Free oh. Acme bird seed. I can only pick... Oh, you can only have one thing at a time. Did I put them together somehow? No. Oh, they're oh. on top of each other. So bird seed can we use for a bird. Oh, can you use it to, like, attract a bird away from where you're trying to go? Yeah. I'm going to hold Maybe. the bird seed for now. Is a mine entrance? Is that a mine I can... No, yeah. you just keep no. picking up the bird seed and putting it down again. Okay. Oh, oh God. That's... That's deadly. There's no way I'm getting through that. The water's going to kill I you. need an umbrella. <laughs> Ooh, is that going to fall? Run, 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 run. Oh, I can't go in there. Can you jump up? I am stuck. Is this a bouncy thing? No. Nope. It's not a bouncy... Oh, it is a bouncy thing. Kind of at times. How did I do it? I pressed down to bounce on it? Oh, that's weird. So, <laughs> oh, there we go. We can get up there. I don't see oh, anywhere else Smitty, to Smitty, the naming go. of every screen thing in these sorts of games is what inspired me to do the same for the maps in Spire of the Ancients. Ah! Nice. Yep, there's a nice piece of trivia there. So, hmm... Mine entrance. Oh, killed by an apple. Where am I going to start? all things. Oh, let's start here. You don't want the grease gun? No? I think the bird uh, seed's going to help you more. What do you think? I think you should take the grease gun, because the birds were back that way, so if okay. you're going in the opposite direction... Are, are you, or no? I'm going to go this way. And see if you can dodge the rain? Yeah. I'm going to see if there's a pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There is. So I go there. But how'd you get under it? Hmm. I don't know. Can you jump through them? There's no way. This pattern's too deadly. Like, if I go now... Jump through it? No. <laughs> Maybe? It's a pretty weak egg to be killed by <laughs> well, wind raindrops. Is he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh on the cart! What cart? Oh. Is there a cart? Okay, I'm going to do one more. Just, just to have one thing that I've done in the game. Because we don't have time to go through. We'll yeah. have to have a playthrough of this. Don't we have this game? Uh. Didn't you buy a... Oh, no, I did not. I, I know what they are, and they're not not my style of game. I thought we bought one, but maybe not. No, not a, not a Dizzy game. Mm. I have Galencia. That's, uh, that's a Galaga type of game. Do I have to hop off this thing to get over Maybe. There? No, just have to hop up. Ugh, I was lucky last time I got by that yeah. bird. Ugh, ugh, now... Oh, run, 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 run. So there's the mine cart, but how do you even get to the mine cart? Can you fall through? Can you use the grease gun? Lucky grease gun. I'm holding it. Mm. Maybe, I don't know, use it from the other side? Um... There was a dizzy game ported to the Jaguar last year, I believe. Crossbow 777 says. Really? Mm. I think you can go through the wall on the right of the cart. Oh, that through wall? there? Oh, didn't even try. That bird. No, oh. no. It's going to start me where I died. Right, you know, yeah. where I came in on the level. Oh, oh, oh. I want to go under it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you can't tell. You can't tell what you mm. can go through and what you can't. Oh, you got an egg. Oh, I'm supposed to collect eggs. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so. Can you use the grease gun? Oh, because it's in my way. See, I can't go through that. So. Ah. So you go down? Does that yeah. kill you? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're supposed to go down. There oh. we go. Oh, key. Different colors. Oh, oh Spidey. Come on, what is happening? You have to probably jump. You have to jump off this? Yep. And you have to time it. Jump. Ah! You probably have to pick it up. Yeah, you have to press the button to pick it up. The rules are just out the window. <laughs> yeah. It's like, 
you have to figure out what to press and down or up. There we go. Graveyard key. Excellent. Huh. Deserted diamond. Ah. Diamond mine? Diamond mine. So that looks like death. You can't walk through a sign for some reason. Mm, that looks like death. Oh, maybe not. Haunted chimney? A plastic raincoat. Oh, interesting. How the hell do I get out of here? Get back up there? Oh, oh you can. Okay, let's just try the raincoat. Yep. Ah. <laughs> can I jump up through this? Colorama, I never got further than this. It just kind of, oh, it no, seems like you can do a billion things, so. <laughs> yes. It's just very open-ended, kind of. Mm. Yeah, you definitely have to jump off this one. His... He has, like, flap yarns. <laughs> Constantly flapping his arms. Oh. Probably helps him when he's falling down. At least it's a polite sign. <laughs> okay, now I've got the raincoat. I'm probably my last life. No, I've got a couple lives. Oh, the eggs are your lives, too. Yeah, you must have gotten extra. Go, 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 go. Run, go. run, run, run. Okay, As soon as that apple falls, I'm gonna go for it. Now I should be wearing the raincoat, right? You're holding it. Yeah. Maybe yeah. just hold it and walk. See if it helps you. Yeah. Hooray! Now, you can only carry one thing at a time. Yeah. So everything's about doing everything things past in order. Back there is done because you can only get here with the rain. No, coat. no, no, because no, because you move the cart, right? So some well, things yes. you can go back and redo. So jump over that and see what's uh Yeah, I, I can see the appeal of this. It's about solving puzzles and figuring out I guess there's there's an advantage to walking through the rain and leaving the raincoat on the other side. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you leave the object there, then um, well, you get you it are, as you go back through. Well, you're on the you're going to be on the same side as the raincoat always. Yeah, I guess so. Can you go down? No. Oh. You can go up. Oh, oh. fire extinguisher. A bottle of dry ice. Interesting. Okay. That's pretty cool. Later games that you carry three items. Cool. Ah. Ah. We well, will have to play some of those really, games. really, really cool. Yeah. Um, it's just a little intro there, so. Yep. The next one is called Last Squadron by Janusz Habowski, mm -hmm. uh, Shanty77, and Michał Spilowski. <laughs> Got those Polish names. Phonetically pronounced. Okay, this one also does not work on my system because it's an ATR image. I can't run ATR images. Mm. This is great music. There's your names. Don't press it yet. Great music. <laughs> no, nope, it's the music. Grooving to the music. Okay, go for it. This is a shooter. It is awesome. I love shooters. That's why I think it's awesome. Oh, <laughs> ran into it. What is that called? Object persistence? Where you're like focused on something so intensely that you run into it? It's just forward shooting, right? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yep, I have that. <laughs> is that the name of it? Terra Crest is where the music is from. Ah, uh, yeah. Some people borrow music. Even got the same music during gameplay. Uh, the one I have working with a Nuno Kart, TBA is on my 130EX. XE and it's a fun game. I know the music from somewhere. Oh, my goodness. Lots of stuff. So there's tanks, uh, there's planes. The little bullets don't kill you, but they injure you. The big bullets kill you. 
which is kind of an interesting uh, spin on things. Because usually in these games, you either have health or you have lives. Oh, the big, the big ones don't kill you. They must just do more damage. <laughs> Weak. Weak. Weak sauce. Object. Persistence. Object permanence. No, that's not what I want. Sorry. That's like, that's like taking something away and, and then understanding that objects continue to exist when they cannot be seen. Oh, that was a power up. Damn it! I it was power um, that's what you do with babies and they and and dogs. You know that trick that was going around the internet like a couple months ago, where people would hold up blankets Were they? Um, in doorways oh. and have their dogs look at it Yeah. and the dogs are like yeah you're behind the blanket and then you put the blanket down yep still here put the blanket up dogs like mm, you're behind the blanket and then you stand to the side of the doorway and drop the blanket and you're gone and the dogs freak out they're like oh my yeah. god uh, yeah. <laughs> where did he go <laughs> and they're freaking out did you see the new 2600 Homebrew game in the forums? Not if it had been posted in the last five hours, because I have been getting ready for the show. So, no, probably not. Is it exciting? Is that why he's not saying the name of it? <laughs> uh, the new game. New, new game or new update? Star AD? No. Oh! Mm. Already have that one. Don't hit the things! It's a simple concept! S Sisyphus by K. Israel. Oh my god, this is very much. Title! Original game. <laughs> oh my god, that looks fun. You're rolling a rock up a hill. Nice! The Sisyphus. Oh, too bad Erlen's not here. He likes uh, Greek mythology. Mm. The gods have decreed you, Sisyphus, must struggle against the monumental rock using all of your royal might to roll it up to the top of the mountain. When you fail, the rock is awarded one point. Well, if you get him back, you're going to have to save that one that for him. That is funny. <sighs> so you cannot get a point. The rock gets the points. That's so funny. That's really funny. Yeah, we'll play that one on the show. Yeah. When we return, our triumphant return. Yeah. We have a lot. I mean, a lot of games to catch up on. Mine, give it! <laughs> Time to play uh, shooters! That's pretty awesome. See, look at the. Nice! Nice. I like it. Hilarious. I think that that gets filed under those. There's there's a there's a number of games like that where it's it's kind of being silly. Yes. Where it's not really a winnable game. Yeah. Um, but I'd have to play it. I'm not. No, just, it may it may be a winnable game. It. Yeah, but that's that's. But Sisyphus is all about not getting the well, rock. Well, it's about purgatory, right? Yeah. Like you're just rolling the rock and it keeps Forever. rolling back down. <laughs> but you have to do it. You're compelled to do it. Like that's yeah. your. That's you that's can't, that's. You can't not do it. Yeah, that's basically your. Um, no, you're in you're in you're purgatory. Pun punishment. That's your punishment. Purgatory or hell? I can't remember now. Mm. I think it might be hell. Yeah. Um. Whatever version. In the underworld. Of hell. In the underworld. I, oh, I can't yes. remember if it's purgatory or the underworld. It's been a while since I've. Oh God. I've read anything about Got Greek mythology. Oh, right into it. Yeah, great shooter. The graphics, the, the background graphics are are really, really good in this. The land and the water. Mm -hmm. The part where you don't die immediately if you get shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you run into something, you die. You it's, always die when you run into yeah. something. So you really have to avoid the big things on the screen. Uh, get run into oh, a shot so before, cool. before you run into a... Uh, Thing. That's how you get your power ups. Is those those? Do you get extra. Oh, you get yeah, stuff, yeah. Extra uh, hit points. I don't know. I you get like a power up or something, but I, I'm not yeah. sure what it exactly it does. You 
can't kill those. No, those, they're those. just block your path, I guess. There's a mini boss. Are non mini bosses? Uh, I don't know. I didn't make it far enough to get to an actual boss. But I did make it here. And I didn't kill him last time either. Because <laughs> there's so much on the screen. See, so you get that. I don't know yeah. what that does. But... Yeah, I, I think it was already full at full powers. So mm. I don't know if it gave me more. If I wasn't. Uh, shooty shooties. Oh, that's a shooty shooties. And there's things on the ground that kind of get in your way because you mm. they take priority shooting through them. There's no shot power-ups <laughs> that I've seen so far. Oh, those things are in the way. Ah! <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Barely. Big gigantic fruit loops. <laughs> Pulsating for loops. Um, now I want fruit loops. <laughs> Did you ever regularly eat Fruit Loops? Uh, I think the only time I had Fruit Loops was on a trips with my parents. Yes, and, and you'd, get you'd get the, the little mini boxes. cereal boxes, and yes. there'd be corn puffs, and there'd be Fruit Loops. Yep, that'd be a big And treat. there'd be Frosted Flakes yep. and Corn Flakes. Yep. Possibly Cheerios. Ah. Was there anything else? I never had Cheerios. It was always was it super... Cheerios? Maybe it wasn't Cheerios. Maybe Honey Nut Cheerios. No. I think there was. Anyway, <laughs> there was always one that was like, meh. You know, there's always a meh cereal in there. Yeah. But I like Fruit They're always Fruit super Loops. sugary. And, and my parents wouldn't buy sugary cereal when I was a kid, so no. it was only on, on holiday when they'd buy those little mini packs that we would get Because you couldn't get week. good, like, you couldn't get healthy cereals in the mini packs. It's far like No, it was all non-healthy stuff. Yes, when we were on vacation. Like, uh, you know, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So the last game is Ray Maze, or not the last game, second to last game, Ray Maze 2000, yeah. and this one we can play. Mm. Um, Crossbow 777, I ate nothing but Fruit Loops each morning one summer to collect all <laughs> these Garfield bike reflectors they had in the boxes. Yeah, they did have good, Garfield box. good toys <laughs> bike in yeah. back in the day. And especially in the sugary ones. Yeah, I never had sugary ones though. We ate, no. we ate, what would my mom buy? Cheerios. Rice Krispies. Uh, yep. Just normal Cheerios. Weetabix, and I know you have stories about Weetabix. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh, Brand we flakes? did We did get Frosted Mini Wheats. That was the only sugary uh, one we got, was Frosted Mini Wheats. Um, lucky. Though That was like a treat. That was really good, yeah. Mini boxes, assorted packs from Kellogg's. Yes, my <laughs> yep. friend, yes. So, Those were awesome. here you go. Put that down for now. Fruit Loops, Fruit Loops. <laughs> and like Lucky Charms. I remember having a couple this of times. did not load the first oh, time. No. It does load though. Try it again. Yeah. No, I had full size boxes sketchy. of them. Yeah. Uh oh. Sketchy. Full size boxes. Yeah, to get the toys, they were all, always in full size boxes. Ray Maze 2000. Try it again. Which one? Uh, second directory. Today's date, always. Well, I don't know. Uh, no, I've never used this <laughs> cart before. It's just a listing like every other... Ah, no! no! Back! Back! How do I go Left. back? Oh. Statue. Two times a charm. We have to emulate you. It says... Computer says no. Who says no? One more time. <laughs> it does work. I grew up when they were including PC games in cereal boxes. Squish. Kittens. Squish. I do not recall many PC games. They're usually demos, boxes. weren't they? Probably demos, yeah. Oh, he's purring, even though I picked him up terribly. <laughs> Two thousands. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You're rubbing it in, Colonel Lama. <laughs> <laughs> um. What did we get in our seal? I don't remember getting. Uh, Ray Mays. Ooh, I feel like that's a bad sign right at the beginning. No, it does that. Even when it worked. Okay, we're emulating it. Uh, I did buy. I did uh, play a lot of shareware PC games, though. 
Uh, yeah. In the early 2000s. Because I was a poor, starving student at that time, so. <sighs> yep, kitties. Oh, I can't see. That's what I want. What is happening? I don't know. Oh, yeah, JS2000. JS7800 uh, is not going to play. No. Uh, an 8 bit game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, mostly bad. Go down with that. Don't run away, you're warm. Don't run away, don't run away, you're warm. Still my shareware of Quake that can be unlocked with a code, but never found the unlocker for it. Buy the shareware of Quake. It's had the yeah. full uh, Nine Inch Nails soundtrack of Quake on it. That's why I got it. Like it was like you didn't $5. care about Quake, you cared about the Nine yeah. Inch Nails soundtrack. Yeah, so put thing. that in the background. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh. We'll just play the normal. I would play casual. Okay, collect the dots. Avoid the dudes. There are power-ups. That's a power-up. They're slowed down. Make them slow down. Yeah. It's got great music, too. This is Raymaze 2000 oh. by Nelson Ramirez, NRV, Paul Fisher, Mr. Fish, Vince Cool, Vince Cool, Bobby Clark, Synthapalooza, Synthapalooza, uh, Jason Kendall, The Real Bounty Bob, and it's based on a Ray Maze arcade game. R-A-I-M-A-I-S. This is nominated for Best 8-Bit 5200 Game. Then you go through one of those. I need to? Yep, I think they all are the same. It's around level A1 and goes to X1. Yep, mine had the Nine Inch Nails soundtrack on it. Good stuff. Played Quake, but never had the actual Nine Inch Nails soundtrack for it. I was always missing out on that. Yeah, you could get them at, um, like, computer stores. Ah! And, uh, Suck yeah, so they bad. just had the shareware version. Ah! And you could just get it for, like, $5 or even free. Oh, double one. I had to add it twice. Three times. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, he disappeared. What I the hell? I don't know. Ah! Oh, he's back. Weird. Did he... Does he have, like, invisibility? Ooh, ah, I didn't mean to go down. <laughs> maybe. Ah. My turn. Is it... No. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, Atari. This one does have keyboard buttons, but oh. we don't need to... Oh, Metal Lunar. I was into Nine Inch Nails in those days, but I didn't realize that. Oh, well, yeah. you, weren't, you weren't really into Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> <laughs> this is armor. Oh, oh, I only had one. Oh, what the hell? That was a power up. Got rid of everything on the screen. Nice. That's pretty good then. Oh, it's very into nine inch nails as well. Armor. Yeah. Oh. You get a oh. hit, I think. Yeah. Oh, they freeze. Oh, that's nice. nice. Ah, that's a very nice power up. Let's just. Boom, 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 boom. Ooh, speedy. Speedy and... Ooh, speedy's bad, actually. Well, Sometimes it's, it's too a fast. little hard to control. Did, did they become invisible so I couldn't see them? I and don't I could know. Double shoot? No. Speedy, Ooh. I think. Good job. Good Thank, job. Thank you. Thank you. You should really get a Fuji net for some of the home I must work a little better, I guess. Yeah, this one is uh, not as compatible. Um, as other ones. As long as it has a menu. I really, really, really like cartridges with menus. Mm. Uh, I'm not too keen on cartridges with, like... Weird With displays access? on them yeah. that I have to stand over them and press buttons. I, I'm not so keen on those, and that's why I like all these. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to get into that part of the maze. I mean, it's fine for if you're playing a game for a long time. Lasers? Yes, I knew it. I knew it. He's gonna come back. Though. You have three? How many do you have? Oh, uh, three lives. Nice. Very, very good. This is right up my alley, too. You are getting game. a DF card and it works I know, exactly I know, that I know, way. I know, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, DF card does work that way, but 
you can only play certain games on the DF card. Like, you can only play EXO on the DF. The Concerto does not... Disappear. doesn't support it. Oh my god, I can't get through that. Uh, oh, they can. Can oh, you? How am I going to get through that? I must have to have a shield. Oh, maybe. Oh god. Oh god. Where'd he go? <laughs> no, no, they just like He's disappear. back again. Ugh. Get out of there. Like, they're guarding that area. <laughs> I don't need to go in there. They're all power-ups. So you can't go through that red? Uh, not right now at least. Oh god, dang. Oh, <laughs> knew it. It's so dangerous in there. Oh, oh my god. I give you no time. That's where all my lives go. To... Oh, they're coming in. Yeah, run away. I need to get them out of there. Get out of there. One left to go. So you can't go through that red thing? It kills you? I am going to assume it's going to kill me. It's all power-ups. I don't think you have to get it. It's like a decoy. Maybe. That was close. Oh my god. Am I going to get it? One, two. Yeah, good job. Fujinet does have a menu, but if you're using XGS, you yeah, have to use a keyboard. keyboard. You else need... it's going to boot into Missile Command. Just Missile Command all day. <laughs> Just Missile Command. All day. The menu day. works with the joystick, though. Mm. You have to use the keyboard to get into the menu? I guess so. Interesting. Yeah. I'll, I'll take a look at Fujinet, because I do want to have more 8-bit games. Obviously, from time to time, I do need to play them. Emulation is fine. Where's the C? Throw in a row, eh? Can you see that way the whole time? Fine. Better than them being spaced out. Should I get the C? Oh god. Oh! 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 It does a full pass. One. Nice. Oh, well, that's helpful. And they follow you. Which oh, is kind of good, actually. It's, it's fine. It's actually really good. Because. Didn't corner <sighs> fast enough. Tiny. Yeah, it's 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 a little rough with the corner. Oh, one's lost its way. Oh, no, found its found, found its, pack. its pack again. I guess pausing in, in certain spots. Oh, that's nice. One more to go. Yay! Yay! Da, 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 da. Oh, apparently Nine Nine Snails put the Quake soundtrack on vinyl last year, but it was a limited production and sold out immediately. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh yeah. my god. Oh my god. Huh? You need a keyboard due to the way the XCGS itself was designed. I, I do have a keyboard, so... Oh, you do? Yeah. Did you get one when you bought it? No, I did not. I should have. I thought, eh, I don't need a keyboard. I'm playing games on this. No. I need a keyboard. I need a keyboard for some games. Like, some adventure games and little options here and there. Yeah. Because, um, the developers seem to make them... For the computer systems rather than the XEGS, which I don't blame them. Uh, the computer systems, you know, have more RAM on them sometimes. Mm. And why not have. And most people don't have. I think they most of them have a computer system rather than an XEGS. They probably look down upon the XEGS. But I didn't want a computer, I just wanted a simple way to play 8 bit games. And a light gun is on its way. Oh, it's that's hard to get into that section. That's really fun. That is. I really like right the aesthetics of it too. Yep. Like that, that like um, robotic music and everything is great. Um, I don't have a turntable either, even though I have a big box of vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> Turntables are challenging because they don't just fit; they have to be on top. Because you have to lift a lid usually, unless you have fancy ones that yeah. slide in. So, um, we're going on to the last game of the night. The last game of the nominated games. This will be the, we've played through all of them. This is Runner Bear by Paul Lay, Playsoft. Daryl Genther, uh, Daryl 1970, and Rob Schlort. Schlort. And this one is on emulator, which we're on anyway. Bye-bye. That's what our local newscaster says at the end. Bye-bye. <laughs>
that's so, <laughs> well, so weird. She's so kind Canadian. Of, she's kind of stopped doing it though on the last few. She did we've been last making, one. We are making fun of it for a while, and then she didn't say it at the end, and we're like, she heard oh. us. Hmm. Okay, so start select. You should be able to press button. Nope. I have to press start, which is uh, F two. Or you want to be a dragon? You want to be a bear? Dragon. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Uh, no, you have to up, up and jump and fire. No, I apparently have no fire left. Use the ball up. up. So this is like an endless runner type of game. You can do uh, high jumps, low jumps. Oh, you're invincible. I yeah, apparently I am. I don't quite get that either. Maybe because I'm a dragon? Maybe. I was playing this earlier. It was like, nah, you're gonna die. Maybe you get more hits because you're a dragon? I don't know. It's weird. Uh, Colonel Lama says, got my XEGS in November from a place called Retro MTL. Are you in Montreal? Uh, no. Came with a keyboard and a light gun. I'm not getting injured at all. Huh. The light gun was pretty disappointing, though. <laughs> yeah, I oh, have heard the light good. gun, Atari light gun, is actually not great. Oh, you did die. By falling. Oh, I, f I fell. New game dragon joystick. Well, let's play bear. Weird. Bentley the bear? Oh. Oh, Bentley bear. He just looks different. There's numbers. 56, 57. Cool music. Do -do -do -do. Very kind of relaxing. I like the aesthetic of it. It's mm -hmm. cute. Very, um... Mario with those clouds and the hills. It is very Mario, actually. Oh, yeah, he got so you me. can die. Yeah, the dragon seemed to just plow Oh, the dragon's things. invincible. There we go. So that's so. that's the easy, easy... Easy uh, mode. That except makes sense. don't fall into a pit. Oh, yeah. This is meant for a computer. <laughs> that's for sure. Very, very much so. One bullet. So the longer you hold up, the higher you jump. So you can do short jumps, too, mm -hmm. if it's needed. Uh, that would, that's a good use of the bullet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That one is, too. I don't know how many bullets you have. Ooh, you probably want that hat. I have no bullets left. Uh, so maybe... You have to deal. This reminds big me... jump, big jump, big jump. Oh my god, you just made it. <laughs> Reminds me of Quest for Tires somehow. Yes. Oh. Quest for Tires is like an endless, endless jumping, really ducking. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. Then you yeah. get to a point where. Oh, but you need to tie. Oh, you can stomp, stomp on them. Oh boy. Yeah, they are limited. Boom, done. <laughs> and done. You can stomp on enemies. I'm gonna have to try that. Oh, oh. wow! Did you get like? Do you get points? Things? Oh, you do. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I don't want to stomp on that. I don't think. I don't. Oh. <laughs> that full was a on, Mario! <laughs> full on ripped off Mario music. So they're not even being subtle about no, it. No, <laughs> not even remotely subtle. Nice. So. I can't stomp on the thing that's in the air. I have to duck. Yeah. Music's really cool. Uh, nice. One more. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait till you get the wizard hat. Oh, yeah, ten minutes. So you it. can. So it is something to get. It's kind of hard to tell what you're supposed to avoid and get, but uh, cool. Watch that cat. I'm watching him. He you will just... chew the cable. I know. And it'll be game over for us. Kitties. 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 Because um, <laughs> this this character is from. Oh, what's the name of the game? It's a, a three quarters perspective game, um, and it has it has the bear in it, has mm -hmm. that tree in it, mm -hmm. has uh, the hat in it. I don't know why I'm blanking. And it's uh, played with a rollerball in the arcade. Crystal Castles, thank you very much. Mm. It's got skeletons in it too. All the characters are from it. Nice, except for the birds and the clouds. <laughs> this. The situation is Mario. Yeah. Oh, there's definitely a Mario theme going on here, especially with the coins. Shoot him. Ah. Shoot him. 
it's really hard to time that. Let me try one more. I can shoot him. Shoot him. It's a, it's a fun. Oh, no. You've one left. <laughs> one left? Oh, yeah. No. There must be a point where you get the bullets again. I it's would. Because you assume. run out. Kittens? Kittens. He's, he, he's really enjoying the. Um, you can move forward too, but. Um, uh, I will not press the button when I start the game. Kittens. Yep, yep, it's going after the cable. Come on. Cable? Oh, or the. Oh, oh. He was going after the. Um... HDMI cable. <laughs> Very fun. Great endless runner. Yep. Style game. Don't have time to play a, a lot, unfortunately. No, there's a lot of games. Honey so... pots give you extra shots. Good. Oh. Yes, HDMI does taste the best, especially if you're Atari. Lots of bits. It does. Lots of ones and zeros, tasty ones yum, and zeros. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. Um, so we have made it to the end of all the nominated games. It only took four episodes. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, what, 12 hours? Yep. Lots of games. So, <laughs> now you've games. seen them all. Now you can vote on all of them. And that's what you need to do right now, uh, or soon, mm -hmm. um, so that you can have your say. Oh, I was on the right input. Have your say in which games you think are the funnest are the best yay fun games and i'm going to post the link in the for in the uh, chat right now so that uh you can get there you go away where's my chat there you are vote now vote once <laughs> exactly thank yeah. you very much dan <laughs> uh so many i mean when you play the best nominees yeah. they are some of the best games all yep. year so you're getting the They're cream fun. of the crop. So yeah. these are great. And mm -hmm. and some of them make me want to go, oh, we'll put that back in the show later. Yeah. Some of them I've not played before. Well, yeah, some of these games I want to play a little bit more of. So, mm -hmm. yeah, especially so now, especially the 8-bit games. We haven't played any of those, really. So no. it'd be nice to, to go back and play some of them, if especially if you can get them running on the actual hardware. Yeah, I'll have to yeah. see what's going on there. Yeah. Mm. Um, and now that I've played them, now, now I am going to vote as well, because I haven't voted yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, because I wanted to play the 8-bit games and mm. some of the 7800s that I hadn't played before yet. Um, so, yeah, so there's uh, 14 categories to vote in. There's a bunch of 2600 categories mm -hmm. divided into ports and non-ports and then work in progress and completed. Nice. That's kind of how they're divided up. Um, and there's categories for best music and sound, best graphics, uh, best overall game. There's a packaging category for 2600. And for 7800, there is works in progress and completed mm. games. And for the 8-bit, there is just completed. Uh, because that's a lot of categories. Yeah. A lot of awards. Woo! But, you know, we expanded quite a bit this year. Yes. The number, yeah. of, number of awards were at 15. There's 14 to vote on. The 15th one is um, the, what is it? What is it exactly called? It's for Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm. Um, it's for somebody who's contributed a lot to mm. the homebrew scene yep. for the categories. 2600, yep. 7800. 8-bit 5200 yeah. games. I wonder why there's so many 2600 categories. Because there's lots of 2600 games. Yeah. And also we started with 2600. Yeah. Uh, we added the new 7800 work in progress this year. Yeah. And we added all of the ports. Yeah, to split it into original year. and port. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that was a really good move. Because yeah. there are a lot um, of good games in both of those cat categories, so it allows yeah. you know more and the works in progress opportunities ten, yeah. tend to overpower the original games yeah. in terms of people paying attention to them. So we mm. wanted to make sure the the original games also got a look at because there's lots of great stuff. Yeah, um, and there's a lot of votes this year oh, really? coming in already. Excellent. I'm um, really happy with the number of votes. Good. Good, good, good. I've been tracking them to see how it's going. I can't remember how many votes the top voted, the most voted one got last year. I'll have to mm -hmm. check. I think it was in low hundreds. 
126, if I remember correctly. So we're almost there with uh, the voting this year. So I'm expecting a lot of people, I've heard a lot of people going, oh, I haven't played them yet. I haven't voted yet. Yeah. Um, so I, probably a bunch of votes will come in at the last moment. Mm -hmm. But I'll keep reminding people through Facebook and stuff and Instagram. Well, and especially Twitter. as you get closer to the end. I mean, people yeah. think, oh, I've got lots of time. That and too. then like as the days get closer to the cutoff. They're like, oh, my God. Yeah. I forgot to vote. It's like, ah, get in there. Vote. <laughs> <laughs> Do your civic duty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, 15 categories. And then uh, February 6th is the actual award day mm -hmm. where we're all nicely dressed up. Wow, February 6th, yeah. At least not dirty. <laughs> Wearing ripped clothing. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's on a Saturday. It's not this Saturday. It's the Saturday after. Yeah. Um, so we're off till then because I'll be getting ready for it, making all the graphics, reaching out to everyone to make sure they're ready for the show. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, 2,600 games, I'm looking for what fits uh, for the Harmony games. Mm. Yeah. So Dan does uh, Harmony games mm. based on the awards after. Oh, nice. So he um, does uh, high score. Yes, high score challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, yeah. on the winners, which is a kind of a cool thing. That is fun. Yeah. Ties it all in. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Uh, we didn't say who was in the chat at the beginning of the show. We got too excited. Did we? No, yeah, you you were like, we have games to <laughs> we have play. We have so many games. Play the games. But we'll yep. do that now. Um, I just want to run through upcoming shows. The next show is the Atari Awards, February mm. 6th, Saturday. Yeah, I did have a lot to cover, and yep. it was on my mind. So, but we'll say your names soon. There is a cat who wants in. So he I'm can come in again. In. You gonna come in for the end of the show? He can come up here. You gonna? Say who's in the chat. 134 votes for last year's 2600 Don't best know. homebrew. Okay, so no. that's the number we're looking this at. This is Atari. Oh, it's cold. He's the, he's the cat. He's the uh, uh, zero page mascot. And then after the awards, the first show back, I've got it scheduled for the 12th. I probably will keep it there just to give six days. Okay. Because I would normally do it on a Tuesday after the Saturday, but I don't know. I doubt it. That's just too because I have to tear down. I have to bring my computer upstairs. It's a lot of, it's a lot of movement. A lot of tearing down everything, mm. instead setting it back up. Um, we've got Popeye seventy eight hundred exclusive. We're gonna play Galaxian. He just declared that finished. No, not Galaxian. He. He, we haven't actually played Galaxian on the show no, yet. No, I don't think we have. No. He he finished um, the other game that he was working on, um, so we might play that because that one's done. Uh, Uniwar S. Uniwar oh yes. S. Yeah. yeah, but we might have played the last version of it. I don't know. I'll have to check into that. Uh, we, I have. Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days, exclusive final binary Ooh, of that. Oh, nice. That's a 2600 version. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we just played that. <laughs> yeah. The 7800 version. Yes. But he's finished the 2600. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. Uh, Space Pac Man, exclusive update. We're going to do LEM Patch Challenge, and also for this high score showdown, season five. Games, other games, Dragon Hunt, Nose Hair. Alia Quest for the High Score Showdown as well. Mm -hmm. Heartlight for the 7800. Um, we played Plink a little bit there, um, but we will play the final version of Plink. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be playing. Where's my quad Tari? Yeah, He's there. down there. It's down <laughs> on the floor. Down on the floor? Oh. Yeah, because I think he was digging through the uh, bubble wrap there. No? Lost it already. Oh, Can you it's send me gone. another one, Nathan Tilbert? <laughs> oh, there it is. It's black. Oh, on black. The black desk. Black desk. Um, we're going to have uh, Quad Tari Day. We're going to be playing uh, Quad Games, exclusive premiere of Quad Games that is going to be shipping with this, I believe. Cool. Because um, it's kind of a demonstration okay. cart. Of, it's of got, how it works, yeah. It's got a joust game, mm. a combat game. A uh, racing game and one other game that I can't remember right now. Um, we're also going to be playing the unannounced exclusive world premiere of another game. 
cool. That uh, is the first non-John Shampoo, first non-Nathan Tolbert game. Okay. <laughs> for the Quadtari? For the Quadtari. Nice. And he said programming for it was very easy. Mm. Um, so it should be very good for other developers to start programming for this. Nice. Uh, you know where else. Yes, thank you. Um, also, we're going to be playing all the Quad Tari supported games such as Galagon, Wizard of War Arcade, uh, Robot War 2684, Gorf Arcade, all of those, all the most mm -hmm. updated versions of those. Um, so I might bump that up depending on how things go because this is very exciting and I just got it. Of course, it came just before the awards, so we can't schedule a show about that, but I will try and schedule this as soon as possible, I think. This will be a good one to do. Um, then we have a developer spotlight on Bob De Crescenzo, mm -hmm. um, sometime March, April, Excellent. depending on how busy I am and how quickly I can put that We're together. We're going to be playing a lot of Pac-Man games. A lot of different Pac-Man nice. games, nice. including baby Pac-Man, which nice. is a lot of fun. Yep. Uh, we've got a couple of extremely special unannounced, uh, events, mm -hmm. very special ones that I can't talk about. <laughs> but they're really exciting mm. really really exciting um so tons of stuff coming up oh my Excellent. god so much stuff watch that cat yep yeah. he's he's eyeing them he's eyeing the hdmi cables <laughs> and then he goes mm, i'm gonna get in trouble how about you come up here and stay out of trouble or we can yes. oh, oh oh he's oh he's slippery and he's chunky a, he's a fairly chunky <laughs> Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Don't make me do what I don't want to do. Oh, sweetheart. <laughs> but you keep going after the chords. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Yes. For this uh, special show. <laughs> Me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dan, ABC, Metal Lunar 7, Crossbow, Arena Foot, uh, Flackets, mm -hmm. uh, Colonel Lama, uh, Cafe Man 2D. Yeah. Who else? Lots of the same people. I mean, Smitty, Smitty B. B. Uh, Double Doodles. Double Doodles. What? New name. Yeah. Welcome. Uh, Carl G. Who else? Scroll, oh, scroll. I saw oh, a Miss Command. Command in there. Yep. And that's as far as it goes back. So thank you so much for tuning in once more. Mm -hmm. He does prefer HDMI 2 over 1.3 standard. He does, because he, he knows that one's a more expensive one. <laughs> yeah, he yes. knows it can do, cats, the, do the 60. Cats know the difference between good and bad cables. Yeah, he's um, like, mm, 240 hertz. Mm, yeah. I can, I can eat that. Yeah, I believe Pixel did at one point eat through a pair of Erlen's uh, headphones mm. that were very expensive. <laughs> That was bad. <laughs> that bad, was bad, 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 bad. And I'm city. sure he, one of these cats have, has chewed, uh, oh, chewed Geo's something. Oh, yeah. Power cable oh, for yeah. something. Oh, oh, my God. They're bad. And, and they're not They're not so bad that like they chew everything, doing... but there's certain types of cables they enjoy chewing. Headphone like spongy, headphones. Thin ones. Thin, thin ones. ones. Keep them out of the way. And then anything that's braided, that's got that braiding on, like yeah. the HDMI's half. So. Bad, right. bad, bad, bad cats. Yep. Uh, well, thank you for coming. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Like, uh, we like having audiences. Mark it on your calendar. Yeah. February 6th, Saturday, noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Yep. 8? What time is it there? 8 p.m. GMT. So if you're in Europe, it's 8 p.m. at night. Mm -hmm. GMT, I'm sure everybody in Europe knows how to calculate times from GMT. Yeah. <laughs> Just like we know how to calculate times from Eastern yeah. and Pacific and Mountain and Central. We're just yeah. like, oh, yeah, subtract two, add one. Yeah. yeah. 2 p.m. Central time. There, there you, go. you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Metal Lunar. Uh, 2 p.m. Central time. <laughs> uh, 1 p.m. Mountain time. Oh, yeah. And... What is it? 4.30 in Newfoundland. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a Canadian, you know that joke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a CBC joke. Uh, uh, so uh, we will see you then. Yes. And uh, make sure you tune in. Yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. See you at the awards. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.